hopefully so far so good. There we are, okay. Time to set up uh, the rest of everything around. Mm -hmm. Nice to say. Okay. Time to set up lobby and announcement and everything else around that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Brain is attempting to be engaged, but not doing the best right now. Right. thumbnail let's be honest here there we go That's a fast load, there we go. That was a quick one. Right. I mean, <clears throat> pull up chat, there we go. Hmm. It's, there's a lot of it here. There's I mean, killing Castile for you doesn't matter at all. Like, well, Bro, you get more a land? from it. More land. Bro. Yeah, but then why don't you kill England first? Well, I, 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 I will, but it's just multitask. I do both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's not going to happen. Uh, Who's going to... Is Portugal going to stop me? Uh, yes. Well, the entire HRE is going to stop you. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll just... Uh, just kill the HRE. Yeah, let's kill the HRE. That easy. And the tree is gonna get disbanded. I don't hey, need three should. seeds, by the way, for um, item etc. Because it's the real here. We don't have players in it. <laughs> okay, you gotta kill the tree before anyone receives there. No, I won't reset onto the tree. It's a death trap. The only thing I think viable reset wise is a if I unite an island in Scotland. And <laughs> congratulations, you're now a colonial type. Feel free to rest, either rest the Everything in the British it. Isles has basically been a civ constant civil war. Yeah, I mean, look, Meath nice exists. Like, Ireland seems to be the least on fire. It's like, war. what if Afghanistan was actual England? No, Afghanistan's pretty nice under the Taliban these days. <laughs> but beyond that, um, yeah. No, there's still, uh, there's still, like, resistance things to the Taliban. It's a valley. I'm going to be honest with you, I I, I, I'm playing E4, I do not know the geopolitical situation in Afghanistan. All I know is it's, it's a good place to put forts down. That is true. I have my... I think Ireland's like, going to win. Ireland? Yes, Ireland's going to form and beat up Scotland and England. That's what's yeah, going to happen. I, I what what about the other person? What about the other man that's literally right next to him? Uh, me? You, you should see me there? I, I just go over taking one. That easy. Yeah. Elm Glitch isn't here on time. Probably because yeah. it took 10 hours I... to load the lobby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I was. Yeah. So, so the, I, got the, uh, I, I got something like last second on the. Who did the Delhi players start on? Uh, they started they, right? they, um, yeah. I think Jampur actually, no, they didn't start with Jampur. No, uh, uh, they started as a minor. One of the, yeah, I can't remember, Sirhan right. maybe. The vessel of Delhi, that's Yeah, Sirhan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What is it with my first one? Uh, what did you start as? Uh, I started as the vessel of Delhi. Yeah, yeah, yeah Sirhan. 
But that's that's a cool nation. I'd want to do that and like do the Sikh thing in Punjab. Yeah, yeah that's the plan. I, I yeah. just find it stupid I have to be attacked and has been when I can just release and play as them. I'm yeah. gonna. But... Bro, the Sikh, you get the government and you get the... Mm -hmm. All the stuff that you normally get. That's cool. Yeah. I didn't know about the government. I didn't actually know about the government. So and then your Rashputs. You actually, your Rashputs are pretty good. You get five yeah. extra uh, morale and five extra discipline. Yeah, but yeah, I don't get enough of them to be real useful. It's a certain, like, 25% of your uh, force limit or something like that. Well, it's tied to the amount of uh, crown land I have now. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Yeah, the estates. Oh. Right, is the steam magic taking uh, over as potent then? I think he's playing Ethiopia. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do Poland until he comes back, then I'm gonna finish with Ethiopia. Well, looks like Ethiopia's gonna have some fun AI time under it. Yeah. It's gonna burn their friends. nation. Oh, I am best friends. It's gonna take 50 billion loans. I own Amsterdam, so I'm cool friends. Uh, is uh, I'm assuming Naples is not coming back. No. Well, I can stick them on. And... I was betting on Naples during that war. Not gonna lie. Right, Naples could have won that war. Mm. He just he did some. You dumb have moves. too much faith in Mitpaski then if he. <laughs> He's gonna win that well, I mean, if he like knew it, he was how to move troops. He exactly what I'm way. saying. I was just betting by sizes, okay? Um, Can I uh, Naples, anyway? I think, had a bigger army. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then Savoy over here took like half his land in one war. Can I join? Yeah. Incredible. That's me. Can, Can, right? Can we just appreciate the borders? Of France, if you want to join your steel owns BM Lemon. What? But where is Miss Bro? Because I'd rather have someone on Ethiopia. Oh, Miss Bro's good. It doesn't have time. Or it's just gonna wreck. Oh, it's mid. It did mid, but drop out then. You know what? I'm just gonna hit on Ethiopia. It's not worth going to Poland to kill one AI and burn the country. Yeah. Uh, What's the timeline? Well, now I want someone on Poland. Yeah, but Poland's coming back afterwards. What's when the timeline? Uh, half an hour, that's what he said, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, but there was a stop for Poland, though. Yeah, if, he, if Poland oh. joins half an hour in, that's fine. I'd Asia? There's so the many people in Asia. Well, that's kind of the point. Because <laughs> yeah. usually the Asian players know. have too much of a free reign. Yeah, yeah. could here. someone sub me for the first half hour? That's what Tiga had said. If we had, okay. like, five, not five, like, four more players, this would be a you get enough in Europe and in Asia, which would be, mm. which would be fun. I mean, Asia is already filled up. I yeah, but we need like we four more time. people in Europe. Japan. We only need the Japan in Asia. No, we'll have yeah. them perfect. I think Japan would be enough, but otherwise Asia is a bit too crowded anyway. I think another European tag in like again more potent would really. Stuff yeah, no, in no more moves I mean, would be great as well. In case. Horror moves is an actual dog shit no, uh, We don't have people to reset into the new world of this, right? Um, if, if I, um, if I didn't... So Go ahead. Nah, finish, finish up, I'll be next. What's the join code? It. Yo. Uh, it's in announcements. It's in what? In announcements. Okay. Um, oh, my lord. Sweet baby cheese. I seriously can't stop looking at France. It's disgusting. Yo, you got a problem? Yeah, yes, a lot of them. Castile right, yeah, my favorite part about problem. that is that you you got the PU to inherit loads of land for free, and then France just said, actually, we're going to give up the lowlands. Yeah, like, I, that was so thing. dumb. I was, but I, will, I wanted to just um, truth pausing. break France, but the problem with that was hey. I'd get a call, yeah, AE. Hey. I'd get yeah. such a big coalition, but I was able to take most of it back uh, for like no AE. Well, yeah, it's, it's, so, of course, it's just funny because it's down Oh, here. I just noticed. Oh, no. And there we go. That's sad. I'm assuming, yeah, Naples uh, did dip. Oh, he's yeah. stopping. Okay, because I may have to. Well, you can. You should I like looking at Theodora. I'm on Great Horde, unfortunately, so it's a bit awkward now. 
Stick him on Poland? For the first half hour, do they stick him on, kick him off? That's a bit harsh. Yeah, I should have probably got him a sub instead of just stitching it. Because they decided to fucking. They decided to give me work only that week on fucking Sundays. And now I'm just molding. Oh, were you, you're the Great Horde, weren't you? Yeah. Bro, you're doing good. It was just yeah, but people ate you. No, I, it was great, but then, like, fucking work was like, okay, from now on, you're doing Sundays as well every fucking week at the specific time where the Grand campaign is happening. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Yikes. Oh, you you kind of got partitioned. Yo, what the hell are you doing? Are they, are they snaked in the Great Horde? Well, I think that the issue is they were fighting over who gets what, so there we go. Oh, they they got the trade. I see, they got the trade. They yeah, got I the... Have, um, let's just say diplomatically annexed them, smile. <laughs> smile. Diplomatic I, 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 there was so yeah. much... Uh, Can I just get saved that it's to annex QQ real quick? No, no, wait. That, that'd I, think, be I think it's 10 minutes in, I think it's enough, it's enough. Yeah, I'll probably will arrive in half an hour. Yeah. Uh, I could potentially can be a re- Oh my fucking god, okay. How many people are going to be ghosted? And I think I am. Because, uh, one, two, three, four, five. What do you mean all of them? Why am I so zoomed in? And... I disconnected, it really tells me that I should be concerned about who's running the server right now. Uh, let's see. Oh, we in. Alright, let's see yeah. here. Oh, oh I'm out. We have one, I two, am three, not. four. Let's go. Bohemia, yeah. four. Rejoin, no, not rehost. Rejoin. Hot join? Oh my god. Bohemia, hot join. Um, Savoy, hot join. Uh, Ever since. I, am, uh, I know Eric, five people are so. Yeah, hold up, hold up. Joining. I'm gonna tell him. Uh, can someone ban uh, Ulmer? Uh, that. What? Why is he having a field day? Uh yeah, at least he stopped saying it. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know why he's been special. I guess he is a furry but that's not really an excuse. Sir. Yeah, if he, if he keeps doing it I'll just oh, have my Oira. Yo, that's that guy. Bro, where's where's my Oira guy? Where's this man? Is he is he here? Oira too, right? I don't know. The hell is he? Alright. The stream is having a seizure right now. Oh yeah, I stabbed out. That's a bad idea. Let me just... Uh... It, it, it's... it's it him? looks terrible. Oh, yeah, oh, I no, usually... Shies it. I need, to, I need to get a second monitor going. The issue is, yeah, every time I tab out, it suddenly goes... You know. Oh, for God's sake. The issue is I need to time out to, to tell people on Discord stuff like, uh, stop being annoying. But there we go. I need to learn this relatively fast. Gaming. I can't find I can, a server. I, can, I can't. I can't hot join the. the... Oh yeah, sorry. I'm reason. processing three right now. My bad. Okay. Sorry. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Oh yeah. Okay. Wow. Half of Europe got eaten. Uh, can you say when I'm? Can uh, send the request again? Yep. Eighty percent. Mate, mate. By the way. Yeah. Uh, uh, can I hot join to you? Can I hot join to you? While you're at hot running. Sure, uh, you are on. I'm assuming you're asking me for a country, right? Mm, yes. Oh, okay, fair. Uh, could you. Uh, we actually need to put us up for the first half now. Beyond that, um, really isn't great in terms of players around. Because uh, if you had told me before the session that I was looking at, we could have used, for example, a Japan player or a uh, island player. Slash to be playing, but that would require me nation fixing a country to be there, not just a mess of on fire AIs. 
So there's no nation then, mate. Uh, no, but if you had told me, you know, pre-start of session, that would be more useful. Uh, Bohemia Hall join. Uh, uh, you can, yeah, however, comment to Poland for the first half hour, most definitely. Ah. Uh, and a half an hour is not worth a half an hour is not worth it. Fair I enough, although saying it. that would be less time. Um, in terms of other countries, again, if you want, if you want to be brave, um, how how confident are you at, at your own skills at the game? When he starts it off like that. Okay. Well, could stick your national Chicago if you promise to not abuse Daimyo government and just form Japan. Well, I'm assuming he's left. Oh, he left the PC. He's been gone. Okay. I wonder if he left. Okay, well, that explains why I've not been talking. Okay. Yeah, no, there's not really much so I can pro accept that hot join. Hot joins. Anyway. Uh, <sighs> right, we had five yeeted, and these are the five here. So we should be fine. Trademark. God. Organization of this is such a uh, bundle of joy, but there we go. Whew. And half of the population is fucking laggy, and you have to deal with it. It's, it's very uh, unepic. Yep. After all, we all know you 4 is a power of stability, especially after you have to use the Nakamura host and thing, because. The lobby Bro, if, if you want to have stable EU4, you need like negative 90% stability cost at that rate. Mm. Now, if you want to do stable, you four play single player. Pre Leviathan. Pre Leviathan. Yeah, but like, single player is just. I don't know. No, you reach a point where it stops being fun. Even when you're doing random stupid shit. Well, that's the thing is with the with single player as well is that. Like. You basically end up. If you just. If you take the MP strat of quantity, you can quality. You. No one really can pose a challenge against an MP build, right? In terms of AI. Yeah. And if you're not doing that, you then can go, okay, I'll take, you know, administrative, I'll take humanist or whatever to, you know, one face or stuff like that. Challenge. Well, that's not challenging, yeah. sure. But at that point, it's more of a job grind where you have to be in 50 wars at the same time. Yeah. It's like, it's like a lot of micromanagement, which, I mean, it's fun if, like the first or second time, but just over time, it gets boring. The best way of fun is to just drop the game for a bit and then come back. Tell that to you. Uh... And then you're a fucking monk s again. And you have to learn the game. Mm -hmm. Well, you say that, of course. The MP meta the last time that got changed was, you know, back in 2000. Ah, uh, MP meta, I don't think it's changed since the fucking start of EU4. No, it just wasn't one in all fairness two, three years ago. I mean, MP meta mm -hmm. back then was just, ah, oh, yes, I have bigger country. And, um, yeah. yeah people My unit go, haha, ha, fight. Yeah, like, oh yes, my ca I have 20% cavalry combat ability go. But, um, yeah. Nowadays, it's very. If you don't do quantity, econ quality, etc., 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 you either need to really know what you're doing, or you're just gonna get sorted. Because. Yeah, that's why, if, like, I was like, you know, maybe I could get Scotland, just go full colonial with, like, the worst army possible. Well, you like, can, but then you just get murdered. You have to, you have to I mean... buy a navy that way. And even then, that's a bit yeah. actually sneak something through. That's the thing, you know, you go, you go naval ideas, my friend. You gotta go naval ideas. Well, that's the thing, you can have yeah. the best name in the world, but if you can't, not paying attention, they're gonna land some random stuff in Northern Scotland, and boom, they land on there. Nah, I'm gonna lose my country to rebels first, dude. Oh, okay. Remember, it's gonna be just that dog shit. That's, that's impressive, given that you should have, like, full pause on the country. Right, is everyone what? here who is meant to be here? Uh, well, Poland will actually want to join us in the next... 12 minutes, according to them. But there we go. Man. Right, well. Eh, doesn't matter. I'm gonna run off, have fun. Um, I will yep. unpause soon, TM. Hello, will unpause soon, TM. There's no subs, so I'm not gonna have a long time before unpause. Yeah. Hello, will unpause soon, TM. There's no real subs, so it won't be a long time. Let's go. But there we go. I got pinged. Is there anything relevant? Jesus Christ. Right. I know shift having is bad. Hopefully it wasn't that bad. Just needed to resolve that. <sighs> but let's go. 
Good luck to everyone involved. Let's go back to our player wars, in which the main show is currently Ayutaya trying to hold on against the horse. Saying that, I think Brunei is in there as well. No, Brunei pieced out. Interesting. It's <clears throat> That's wow, they all abandoned. They all abandoned Ayutaya here. Left them for dead. Jesus. QQ fight, I think that's Defender of Faith. That is a Defender of Faith. And that is not looking good. That is not looking good indeed for Ben Gold. Okay, they're getting partitioned here. <laughs> well, I think that's going to be the end of Ben Gold's, uh, ben Gold's uh, playtime. I think they just got stuck in the middle between people who are way too big and yep couldn't share India I think that kind of brings Orab to an end very surprised that Delhi did this given how much they got absolutely slaughtered very recently I think ironically enough because of that Bengal's best idea maybe to Uncon to um, BJ and actually fight Delhi here because Bengal's economy has seen better days I mean, stronger than Delhi's. Delhi's force limit is around 100. Bengal's is well over that. So Bengal can sort of fight this. Yeah, I am don't. I am not seeing that piece deal. And, but they do have good generals. The issue is, of course, that Bengal actually has a larger army. If they aren't going to Vijay here, they can punish Delhi for this a lot. So I don't know what he'll do. I mean, VJ really has gone all guns are blazing with this kind of build here. He's, I think, popped every single bonus. Wow, yes, my power starting. That's actually kind of strong death cost as well. I haven't seen the, um, this one. Hmm. Interesting went for this as well instead of the uh, admin free policy, but there we go. Oh dear. Well, that's interesting. You would have really expected Bengal to take the fight against Vijay here, not the other round. Also, that is incredibly annoying. I thought I'd turn that off. It's like I remember turning that off for the things. For the wasteland. That is really awkward. But, yep. Yeah, looks like they're trying to get... <laughs> Kill Bengal here, unfortunately, in the same way that Ayutthaya is not going to be long for the sword of the straight as well. Well, seems that Portugal has finally gone in against Castile. Took them a while. But there we go. Will definitely be nice for uh, Portugal to secure that. There's a whole bunch of good trade for them to make. Hopefully they'll give nice borders, but somehow doubt it. I think... Oh, they prevented Nepal, haven't they? Yeah, they fully prevented Nepal. And that's the issue as well. Bengal can't pop a Golden Age either. They don't, yeah. They can't even upgrade the centers of trade while at war. Unfortunate, Jesus Christ. I mean, compare that to uh, Vijayanagar, who. Going into this, I think popped a um, ten percent morale mission. There we go. Yeah, not looking great. Not looking great, especially given that VJ is. Oh, I was going to say running deficit, but Jesus Christ, what an income! War taxes as well, putting that to shame. Fort, fort wise, you can fight here, but you can just walk around that, and then that's farm and forts all the way up there into the capital. Very unfortunate for them. Very unfortunate. And as well, to clarify, Ayutthaya is just dead here. Hmm. Surprise again, Ben Kalan Khan to Delhi. I sh he should have taken that fight. And uh, I'm on to Vijay. I think Vijay is definitely a lot more invincible. I don't know how much you would see that in fairness, but that is, that is what it is. Whew. Well, 
Yeah, unfortunately for um, Khmer as well. Yeah, Khmer, Aotai. Khmer's their subject. Aotai here. Oh, uh, well, I'm not sure where the hell where Asami went, but. Uh, to deal with all these rebels. That would do it. Jesus, they are really out of manpower. In all fairness, they did fight like a 4v, uh, like a 3v1, so this is kind of understandable, but I think they're fully, yeah, no slackers to go. And I think they need no tech 9 before they, uh, before they can get more generals. Ayutai is on tech 9, which is an issue. They only have six war scores as well. This may actually be a turn for the tides for Ayutai's favor here, ironically enough, because Tech 9 exists. Ayutai is not looking great on Mampar itself, but at least it has a standing army. No, and not collapsing two hordes of Chinese rebels, so there we go. Hmm, well, we shall see how that's going to go. Fortunately, there's no battles to look at. But, yep, yeah, okay, so it seems that. Yep, you set up a jungle front line. <laughs> Fair enough, and they seem to be just staring at each other, they probably don't want to take the engagements. He is under force mode, not sure how the hell he's losing that much money though. Hmm, loans. And just handling the standing army is kind of an expensive thing to go. He has, okay, a couple of the uh, Rajputs and some back rows, but manpower has seen better days. He has that 1k manpower as well, so that's at least nice for him. If he can finish economic, that'll be huge. But I doubt it by this rate. Actually, is Ahmed focused as well? Which is rather ironic in this position. Generals, uh, I've seen better. But yeah, VJ, ironically enough, really does not want to take an engagement here. I think they can just time him out. Also, surprised I left, let Golconda well hold Golconda because that is a very nice promise to hold. Hmm. Surprised again they're not taking any fights. But okay, Oirat is back. And just letting the rebels like run a bit loose. I think they know they have the liberty of doing that. Although, should probably start looking at something like the Yan separatists because, yeah, they have a fort here. That's Ming separatists. Yan separatists is that? That's Shun. Yeah, Yan. Oh, they have Beijing. Ouch. Ouchies. That is not a good promise to let them go. But either way, they're going to go into the battle here. They do. They do not have Tech Nine. Which is going to be a bit of a problem, but at the end of the day, they are still a horde with a godly general, so yeah. No surprise there. Despite the tactic difference of point two. Hmm. Well, I say that, I, I think I actually do pull us through. I mean, the tactic difference is rather huge, and they, they actually have. Yep. Horde unity is not that high up. For some weird reason as well, Steppy doesn't count as a... Uh, a Savannah doesn't count as Flatlands, but... Never mind, I take that back again. Oirat does get the win here anyway. But, yep. It's starting to be close. The only thing keeping eye time is this Tech 9. And, however, they were attacking the Savannah fort. Yeah, <laughs> not, not the best look for them. Are they going to... Well, that is a... Uh, that's an inspiration. I thought I turned it off. I thought I turned renaming the provinces off for exactly that reason. <laughs> but there we go. <laughs> well, what can we say? Daddy's in a player war against... Kujara. Oh, I see. Defender of Faith, I'm assuming? Surely. Yeah, that's Defender of Faith. They, no way they care. Oh, is there a battle yet? Nope, but they've gone onto the siege ship asking, well, do you want to take the battle or not? Seems the answer for now is a no. Sigma of Europe is covering manpower as best as he can, but of course Vigenagar has a lot more than that, and a Golden Age to boot. They really did think, okay, this is death war time. So I can only wish them the best of luck in that. Yes, in fairness, he doesn't know if Daddy has any more troops behind this. The answer being, of course, the resounding no. They are also sitting generously over force limit, which is going to start hurting them even at their state of economy. I think they are just the burger loans in. Yep, which can they can even retake yet again, so. Hmm. Remarkable. Probably should build that temple. Just to get the loyalty of those up, of the Varishnas up. No, they will recover. 
God, that is some horrible debuffs. For being disloyal, but yeah, no, not looking great for Bengal again. I would have definitely conceded BJ and fought down here instead. Is it is what it is. Oh, Christ. Okay, they're definitely just going in to kill Delhi here. What the hell? That is... Jesus Christ, they took all the trade. They literally took all the trade. That is... Devastating economically. And yeah, I don't think Sam's going to hold Zeno with Tech 9. And yeah, not not on a farmlands. God, those are at generals. Ming Separatists and Dali Separatists will break, unfortunately for them. But there's their last ditch stand. It's not going to go well for them. <laughs> no, not at that starting morale difference. And yeah, that 25% shock damage. Oh, at least they're relieving a fort, but they are just getting absolutely slaughtered here. <laughs> Unlucky rolls, but Aura doesn't even need good rolls at this rate. I don't think Khmer's going to be enough. I think Ayutthaya's administrative problems are their last, the last of their worries. And there we go, 92% siege. <laughs> that's kind of funny, but there we go. But I think that's a rip for Bengal. It's not an incredibly promising, but... Yeah, it looks like it's going to be Josh Josh's domain, unfortunately. But there we go. Well, at least Josh Josh has definitely learned how to play the game. Probably will need to sort out a reseed on Japan and into a... Uh, that mess, although at this rate it seems that uh, Portugal probably has another thing to say for that. Don't know if they will take anything from England here. They can white piece them, but God, that's a lot of money. <laughs> probably will just take money here and war if I'm being honest myself, but there we go. Maybe humiliation as well, if they do want to push for it. Don't know if I'd want to take land, that kind of puts you to you can't. Oh, they can. Oh lord, okay, who was that? He's Crash. gonna go That's for 100%. That's Crash. all. Oh, I know. Kiki. Hello, Lemon Cake. What was happening to Kiki? Kiki player's gone. Oh, no. Lemon Cake. Mm -hmm. India's looking beautiful. Uh, no. No, it is not. Please get better borders. <laughs> I know you took the trade, but please take better borders next time. No, never. Mm -hmm. I refuse. Fair enough. It has to resemble reality where like half of their country, the c entire coast has been trade company, or uh, whatever it is, the um... Where does wow. where Portugal shows up and eats like half of India, but it's super ugly. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta make it IRL, man. <laughs> exactly. So what you're saying is that you want to be conquered by the British, okay. Yes, uh, it's going to be yes. British don't exist in this universe. <laughs> no, I you think see... that's the Portuguese and the Scottish and whatever the hell is going on in Ireland. <laughs> I don't think the Portuguese is going to ever be a Well, that's, that's the Portuguese, I want you to think. No, no. I'm going to put my faith in Ethiopia coming and conquer me. Okay, mm -hmm. Ethiopia wants to conquer India, I see, of course. Yes, that's, that's, uh, that's what's going to happen. Ethiopia. Yeah, I, I, I'm here to buy a province for trade Josh, interest. I swear to God, it's not so I can declare on you. What do I have? Something that I want. Lemon Poland just started to. Uh, no, at you. some point, I will come and yeah. take it. Ooh, what do you mean to have something that you want? What yeah, did prob I prob prob uh, um, the water what province I want? You yeah, want the water colonialism? You want me to spawn colonialism? <laughs> no, you're a moron. Would be nice. <laughs> 
Yo, uh, guys. Some timer you have. Why the hell are you intent to spawn colonialism? So oh, ship cost. Colonialism already spawned in Spain. I mean, mean, I mean, like, death colonialism. It mm. You should do it, that. What do you mean to have something that you want? One province I want. You I already have a job, one. bro. You will find out. You want, you no. want the, um, the one for just naval shit. Oh, that, yeah, I know which one he wants. Yeah, I, I, I don't know which one it is. It's the one you start as <laughs> well. The, the map way. mode, and you have uh, one. It's uh, uh, a couple, the, the Murad Janjarin fort. I yeah. think it's the Mugu fort thing. Yeah, that it's on the uh, west coast. On Bombay somewhere. Yeah. What? <laughs> Where? It's really good. Ch Ch so left of like your vassal. Oh wow, that's vessel. a lot of bonuses. It's left of my vassal. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna have to buy that for the uh, Ethiopian fleet, please. I don't know which one you're talking about. The Mugu Fort thing. It's a great money myth that just boasts your um. Uh... Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I see. Don't know you that with that one. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway. That's that, that's all fine. Good luck, goodbye. <sighs> but there we go, right. Well, that's fun and games. That's fun and games, indeed. Beyond that. Yeah, I think Aitai is dead here. What I am wondering, of course, is what Oirat exactly is going to take. And Oirat probably needs to hurry, hurry up and do that before their rebels start enforcing demands. I'd be guessing something a lot more... Adventurous? <laughs> Yeah, it looks like a nice, relatively nice board, a nice solid invasion. But I doubt it. Honestly, I'm gonna. Exp Let's be completely real here. What is the ugliest thing he can do? This. Yeah, yeah, that looks about right. Actually, that's too. That's too clean. That's too clean. He can go uglier. He can just. He can do something like this. Yeah, honestly, I would not be surprised. At all. Jesus Christ. He will do this, wouldn't he? And wow, they are fully committing to the Death War here. Really punishing where we're at for the whole concept of existence and trying to invade them, but... Just don't see it happening. We're at now has Tech 9. Yeah, looks like it. So even with that shock damage reduction. Jesus Christ, however, putting 50k in a battle might do the trick. In fairness. But again, like, just looking at the casualty difference, actually, Oirat is taking the uh, Uncon. Why? I see. How much are you enforcing for? Uh, He's enforcing, so... Oh, you're right, is making oh. a peace deal right now for 30 wars or something, I don't know. Oh, God. Wait, isn't that illegal? Uh, no, it's not. Yeah. Oh, he, he got he, the he, land. Kyus Bena is a subject, so... And Langan is a subject. Was so. that the... Oh, yeah, he's a subject, so yeah, yeah, it's fine. Did he just... Truce break? <gasps> because... No. Did you, did you just choose it? Ayutaya, Trusberg. They can on the defensive. <laughs> they are allowed to do that, it's the defensive. Yeah. Let's just move. Okay, What's okay, this is gonna be. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> they can do that, that's brave, and I think they're like, well, if I die here. I right? mean, uh, Oirat is running out of troops, he was losing battles. That I mean, great power, let's yeah. go. And now he has a lot of overextension. 
And Rebels right now. This man. Yeah. Just, this yeah and he can't core it at all. So I can't believe Ulmer has been playing all along. Down. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh cool. my god. Are you fire got knocked he, out he, of GP and now I got it. Right, who, who I can't just, believe I got fire at this point all along. Oh my god, okay. But he, Savoy, who is it? Savoy oh. just dropped. Oh, oh, that's fine anyway, whatever. <sighs> crash? I, I just DC'd. Yeah, Crash. Uh, we don't know how to get back in. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh. So Bengal dead? Is Bengal dead? Well, I think he's staying for it to make people pay. And hopefully, what I can understand is he'll probably sit around and wait until other people show weakness and kill them. Hopefully. So did Delhi and Vigi kill him? Uh, he downed Maybe. VJ, then Delhi went in, didn't fight, and then just enforced. I think Bengal could have fought Delhi personally, in all fairness, but that would have required Uncon into VJ to fight Delhi. Yeah. Delhi just got free land out of that. He's long short. Vichy's gonna kill everything, because Del he's gonna eat Bengal. Well, Delhi's also yep. taking their, their uh, recent Delhi. time. But yeah, four player India is not looking very four player. Yeah, but Vichy took all of the trade stuff, so you can just send all Bengal trade. Mm, they got around 30%. That's uncored, so. Yeah, which when it's cored, it's going to be like 60, 70%. Depends on the autonomy. I think it will stay to fine, but. Just decrease autonomy. Decrease autonomy, yeah, probably will end up doing that. I mean, that's what you're meant to do. <sighs> but there we go. I'm trying. Yeah, not looking great. The for uh, there's no there's no tutorial around it, and it's not looking great for uh, Bengal. Much like the AI Arista seems to eat Bengal like every game I play there. It's uh, instead of Arista. Struggling it's getting across. I can't get across the channel. Well, yes, England has a navy. Yeah, well, I, I saw Portugal's at war with them. I thought Portugal killed their navy. Nah, that's what, well, that's I was hoping. What Portugal is the one you to think. I was hoping they killed their navy. They did not kill their navy. Unfortunate. Right. Well, good luck. Yeah. Well, that whole development. Last... Hmm. What a beautiful mess. But there we go. And we all know, however, where the highlight of this whole situation is. Not people killing AI. Are you tired of going back in for round two? Because uh, it seems Siam has a dream. Are they going to unblack? Where are they going to unblack by the street? These troops. I mean, they've got a looming disaster. They're rebels that will break. Subjects that aren't just in fairness, but there we go. <laughs> Manpower has seen better days. I'm completely overforced on it. Okay, I'm assuming this has been burned. Oh lord. <laughs> so a lot of money points while you're tired, unfortunately, down the drain. But, there we go. Unfortunately, Orat as well cannot really support this in any kind of shape or form. Like, at all. Jesus Christ, they cannot support this. They are going to start breaking to this stuff if they want to If they want to fight. If they don't want to fight, they will also probably start breaking to that stuff. I don't see, think they've broken to anyone yet, but either way, it's not looking pretty. Well, there we go. Orat has got the weird... They should have to unblack by themselves somewhere. And hey, Bountiful Harvest. Well, that certainly helps the massive debt. I say massive debt, the massive deficit, but. Okay, they're getting a lot more generals. They have a very high army tradition due to all this fighting, in fairness to them. So, general wise, yeah, absolute gods here. I mean, look at this guy. Jesus Christ, 5544. Oh, Merc stacking. Okay, and that's a slacking. They're taking that as their. Uh, as their death war. 999 tech, yep. Could even take the next admin tech. Probably will. But there we go. I see, yeah, they're gonna black bar, unblock, unblock by themselves in this fort here. It is jungle, so at least it'd be a minus one, although they will be minus 25% shock damage. Just because of the generals and the same quality from the horde troops, they may have a chance here, but... Yep, they are black by themselves in that battle. 
And win very decisively for now, anyway. They've only just now locked in. I'm not sure this has been scorched. It has not. And I think there's going to be a wipe here, probably. No, not going to be a wipe. It's not going to be a wipe. They got there in time. Take that back. They actually got there in time. If that's going to be enough... Well, it could have been, but they decide to uh, to conserve their numbers and dip here, leading to you know entire winning probably their best decision. You know, get get some troops back from here and start doing more stuff. Ming is popping back out. Go Ming, getting some of their cores back at least. Of course, this also hurts Ming because Ming can't be, um, or I can't even call the land they uh, they took. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Fighting. That's the Mongolians fight. Okay. Huh. Yeah, not looking great. Surprised how Tizen managed to hold this. I thought with Brunei dropping out, that would be the last straw. That would be them gone, but. Uh, there they go. That'll be interesting to see. God, I hate this. My real question actually is as well, is what the hell has AI Poland been doing? Oh, okay. God knows what, but hopefully their main player gets back to them soon, TM. Right. Beyond that. Oh, that's not looking good. I look away for one moment and that's a slaughter fry. Yeah, no, farmlands. And this is Orion's domain. And I tie them, I mean, they have a bit more man manpower to recover after this, but not really, not after these kind of numbers. The morale point difference as well is present. No tactics difference is present. Yeah, not going to be great. I think what this allows for even more ironic enough is to do 100% them here. Just... That was OBS having a field day. Oops. Well, that's a bit awkward. Um... Right. Oh dear God! What did I get a? I think I got anything cut out for a moment there. Jesus Christ! <sighs> you love to see it, don't you? You do love to see it. You have to be a rehost. Hmm, lovely. Absolutely great. And you love to see it, don't you? You do indeed love to see it. Right, I think it's my internet cut out. Sorry about that. Oh, um, uh, that's fine. I, I, have save, the I have save from internet cut out though, but. Okay. Yeah. Mm. It's a random one moment drop, I think, is the issue. Just. <sighs> so annoying, but there we go. Can't even blame Peter Paradox for that one. Uh, but yeah, sorry. Also, Poland's meant to be here, like, 50 minutes ago, I guess. AI country, Poland. Uh, his, his PC is doing crazy things. He can't uh, can't join at the moment. He's trying to, but... Well, that sounds pretty ridiculous, but there we go. Alright, time to put the rehost back up. Nice to think. Oh, 
Why are these codes so long compared to the other ones? God knows. Lemon cake, do you think a Utaya can win that war? I have been proved very wrong with that war because I thought our Utaya was a lot more dead. They were making comebacks, but I think we're asking, going, okay, if you want a death for, I can death for. Oh no. <laughs> it's the end for both of them. I'm sure they both can bankrupt. Probably. Well, that's good because then Horde is going to fall apart. Oh, oh yeah. Does that mean free China? That does mean free China. Ben goes. Secret. Call me and I will call you. Into China. I think I have already <laughs> highest income. Not sure about okay, that. Okay, let's. If that happens, I'm gonna be sad. No, I think uh, I think uh, VJ is also really close now that he's got the Bengal trade. True, true. Once he, uh, yeah. That gave him like yeah. ten ducats a month extra, I think. I actually don't know. I need to check. <laughs> I just yeah, know I that I'm barely in the game or something, right now, but because of the corruption. I saw you transferring five ducats well before you were transferring zero. And I assume you have some amount of trade efficiency. Uh, I suppose to. Trade efficiency I actually now made up, made up by the bourgeoisie. Doesn't exist. And so what what bourgeoisie? Uh, you know the French burger estate? Yeah, that is responsible. I don't know what's France, man. I cannot see it. Exactly. French is gay anyway. Come on, bro. Yeah, who, what's France in this game, anyways? France is a, a, a construct of Burgundy. Every it's France myth. I've uh, played against in multiplayer has been exceptionally bad. France PU2 players. I feel. France PU2 players, that's. <laughs> Yeah. That, that was pretty based. And then there's France on. Um, who did I see France? In fact, I'm actually the opposite. I think so far we've seen. France run away the game too much. Well, Ormer wasn't running away because okay. he was dying constantly. Uh, yes, but Ormer's France, France doesn't say much. To, I mean, Ormer doesn't exactly inspire confidence as a player. Pre no previous to France either. just went out conquering everyone in the world and got fucked in the ass by his ally <laughs> that was carrying him. England, yeah. Yeah. Actually, still pretty well for that. Um, but no, I excuse you, France. Great power number two, only lost to Lystra's Ottomans, but Lystra's Ottomans is... Oh boy. Can't You can't ask for a better country than Lystra's Ottomans. Maybe Lystra's from Russia, actually. Maybe Lystra's all you're at. No, Just have I think Lystra's from Russia is scaring all you're at. I don't know, no. I haven't faced either of them. <laughs> we just need to have uh, Eric. Uh, act like he's doing world conquest on Maju or something. Yeah, but if you're doing world conquest, you're gonna go like bloody administrative ideas, aren't you? Yeah, but, I mean, if you're big enough, you're gonna have a lot of armies anyway. Yeah, yeah but that's fair. you're gonna get slaughtered by person going quantity econ quality, as even if you have like 3k dev. Maybe. No, not maybe, you know. definitely will, because in I mean, the if they can't quality play. econ. Quality econ will definitely carry well beyond numbers. The issue is, is that quality is everything. Uh, you say that, but once you have once you have you know eighty k people in the battle, it kind of does matter about the quality of the troops. Sure. Yeah. The, because how, there is. It also matters how do you use those troops. Well, okay. If you put your your, your troops on night in a cooler day, then I guess that's the British. Quality story. doesn't matter. Remembers Prussia last game, <laughs> beating up Rom. No, okay. That wasn't last game. That was the definition of quantity against quality. <laughs> no, not really. They're both same quantity ideas. It's, it's both MP builds. I mean, I reckon up to Russia, the strat is to go bloody monarchy, monastic order anyway, because. God yeah. Hurts. Yeah, I wanted to keep the Prussian thing, but it was fucking bad because I didn't have anything. The only thing I used it for was the plus three mil rulers, which was pretty nice though. Nah, it was hilarious looking at the battles against like Rome and all of that. The thing is, that at one point with governing cap, is in MPS. Well, this is the wrong save. save. No, this is not the wrong save. This is the 15 3 save. This is not the wrong save file. Uh, is it I the land that I conquer from Bengal? It cannot be the wrong one. <laughs> Mejana Gakura Mandel, of course, remains a uh, sight to behold, but there we go. This is the right one, but what day is this? 
Uh, I think it's day when my internet cut. Yeah, it's okay. 30 May. This is the end of Nice Armor, start of a new era. Well, can you, I'd really appreciate it if you started a new era by not renaming your provinces to uh, nasty stuff. I thought I'd turn that off. But I guess <laughs> that was wrong. Um, right, I said we were on the 20th of March, and now we're on the 30th of May. So I'm not sure if you played two months without us doing anything. May have been the case, because the internet cut out, so your inputs, you tend to burn the game, didn't realize that. I mean, nothing happened to me, but, well, maybe. Uh, actually, I was the anyway. capital of Ajutaya got raided, because now I can a little bit better see where all the development Just is. Just click on your country. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that hard. Search. God, right. Yeah. I think that's everyone. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, we are missing a uh, Ethiopian now again. I was waiting for Poland to so remember Poland doesn't exist. Poland is made up by <laughs> big Poland. Well, I guess it's we'll wrong. have resets for Ben. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. 1, 2, 3, what? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 ghosts. Yeah, we have I'm one of them. Oh, the no. I'm one we have of them. five no. people in the lobby. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I'm one of the ghosts. We no. have five people in the lobby. No. I, I actually you know, feel like it's, it's Nakama that does that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Or join. It or does. Join yeah. is much better. No, 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 no I'm not for joining with five people. I'm going to have to process a whole joint from like bloody. I mean, should we take the risk and use the old system? Because I think the Joker is doing a lot no. of this guy. And the guy Yeah, we played a game on just Steam, or the standard one, we had nothing of this. No I mean, number bugs. I mean, there is nothing if if in the lobby does not have any DDoS, so it's fine. Uh, are we really or... Yeah, I mean, 15 people ghosted. Yeah. 15. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> That's it's great stuff, good stuff, good stuff. So I think that's what he meant by this is the wrong save file. <laughs> yes. This is actually wrong save file. <laughs> Wait, it is? It is? Yeah, it's yeah. a couple months behind. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. The mad boy actually noticed. Yeah, I got like three events on my uh, screen. At right least at the, it's it's just a different attention. Yeah, I got the Bible translated. Right, everyone so. reload up in normal E4. This straight I give up. If they DDoS me, then okay. Just, uh, so normal Steam. I mean, we we, we mostly know. have the regulars here right now. So wait, what do you say? I don't think saying? any of us DDoS. Just the uh, normal play E4. I also eat the save that you download me. Your normal play E4 from Steam. Oh, in Steam stuff. Okay, oh. I'm gonna. Uh. I mean, we had a I lot of ghosts fun. this time. I like in fun. every fucking session. No? I am having Steam fun. multiplayer. Let's go. Yeah, I think the only one that we didn't have it was the first one. Right? Yeah, because you don't. No, just the top there. one. Just play. We don't see much, but just the top one. I mean, you you never have ghost in the first. Session. Wait, what? What do we select? The normal one? Yeah, yeah it yeah, also makes sense. One, yeah. Makes sense. Okay. I thought that was clear, but there we go. In all fairness, I did play a game out here with... Well, I was meant to be with one friend, but then two other friends came along and they kind of joined halfway through. So with four people in total. And... <clears throat> even all the hot joints, so it was fine, so... <clears throat> There's 20 people here. I highly doubt anyone is going to DDoS you. <laughs> uh, well... They're DDoSing private Hoi4 lobbies, so... Yes, but not yes, private lobbies. The, first, you need so, you need to get someone in the, your lobby that used the script to get your IP. Well, I mean, the thing is away. that everyone here wants to play. It will be a dick move, move mm -hmm. to anyone to do that. So I highly doubt anyone is going to mess up with DDoS. Just think about that. Look, I just want that to not be a thing. But yeah, anyway, it is three hosts up. I'm taking that risk. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure I turned off the promise thing. Do I need to start a game or was it just save the sessions? 
that's a great question. Because I think I need to start a game with the updated wasteland shows up setting. In fairness. So uh, you can't turn it on in mid game. You can't turn it on mid game. Yes, you can't. You have to start the game with it. It's like oh, then game. I don't join the game yet. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not great. <laughs> I mean, you can turn it on, but it does nothing. Fantastic. Well, bear that in mind for next time. Else this I is think? so much faster loading as well. Holy fuck. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. We're not having to go through like some dodgy Australasian service. <sighs> well, look. It's... Sacrifices we're gonna have to make, willing to make, or something along those lines. God knows what. At this point, <sighs> well, it, it is but a U4 Can you stop taking my country so I'm not secondary controller? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, one. of course. <laughs> the lemon cake trying to do this yeah. for you. I way. mean, we can go up <laughs> if you want, but <laughs> I swear to God, if I play Ma Ma Maleo yet again. I've done four games in MP as well. I've done four back to back. Just play the rules, come on. Kept, Everyone people kept you asking me to sub from there. Tier. I am allergic to that, just, just all those items. I don't want to play there again. I played Japan twice. But the thing is, I don't mind playing a country four times, right? Like, I've I've lost count of the amount of times I've played England. Because it's always like a thing I come back to. I always try the England versus France early war. And I've realized it's like, the more I play the game, the easier that war gets. Right. Um, yeah. But the thing is, it was four MP games as Malaya back to back that really just rubbed it in. Like the first one, okay. It was the lemon cake that taught me how to be a privateer. Oh yeah, that was that was the third out of the four, by the way. <laughs> and you can tell I had given up by that point. <laughs> I was like, I could play this properly, it was like, but now we're privateering. <laughs> Today we're privateering. <laughs> Terrible idea, I mean, like here's the enemies. But... It was the only time I ever took espionage ideas for the extra private oh, I took espionage ideas. You know, you know I'm playing the game series, so we take a naval espionage. Yes. Mm. Man, my navy was fantastic, but my army yeah, got destroyed GB's... by Russia. <laughs> numbers are numbers, unfortunately. In navy and on land. But at least I am trade node. It was garbage back then. Like, it was a start node, and it just fell into Malacca. And I just don't an Americanism. But Sam nowadays is actually decent though. The stuff actually gets. Well, it's better than before at least. And it's got a lot more provinces. But it only has a third oh, month flowing into it. Oh, it's Tigera! Fantastic! Excellent. It took us three years to do an hour. Now that's efficiency. Thank you, Nakamura hosting. Um, that's a uh, really fun. This is why we couldn't play anymore, because they get I was trying to join. Uh, of course, that's that's why you did our star lobby. Yes. I'm just trying to join. It's perfect sense. Yes. Mm. Why hasn't oh, Sweden AI? yet yes, taken... Was AI. Why hasn't Sweden taken the capital of Denmark yet? Why would you take the capital of Denmark? Why would you want to invade Denmark? No, but like, he still doesn't control fully his area. Are you tired? Can you please go back on what are you tired? The better question is why is Sweden still Catholic? Why the fuck? Wait, fuck what? Wait, what? Why oh no, wrong? why is he Catholic? No. Wait, Bohemia were Hussite, they were Protestant. That's the actual argument. Would you say you'd go Hussite to Protestant? I was sent. Because Protestant is better than Hussite, right? Yes. It's going well, well for though, meme game. Hussite is shit. It used to be really good when it just came out, but people were complaining that, like, oh yes, Hussite Prussia is apparently a major threat, so they nerfed it to Smithereens. Hussite is, uh, Hussite like... is good for one thing if you're going for a one culture, because it's got the culture conversion thing. It's Portugal. But... Actually, colonizing this game. Yeah, they have. They colonized the Africans. Oh, they also won the province. Um, 
They got also one, on two, two, three, four, three four the five Evo, provinces. Yeah. <laughs> they are actually colonizing, but at the same time, they're colonizing oh, no. with French shipping guns. They're, they're, they're spending no points to colonize, not dead points. But how? Uh, well, you use that. Are we starting? Uh, we are once, I'm in the snowman. Um, never mind, it's a steal that's in the snowman. Uh, kick him. Sorry? Make him choose the country or kick him. He is loading in 78% of the game. Oh! Uh. <laughs> right I also forgot which country is on. Oh, fuck. Are you fighting Orad? Or Eric? No. Why do you want to fight Orad? Why the fuck would I fight Orad? But Orad is falling Support apart. <laughs> if you look at him while the map, at least. I mean, it's not fair if I help them. It is fair. No. No, no, good, good. What was the World War I mean, 1 fair? Yeah, almost. Almost. Well, the Germans I make have, them oh. eat and then I collect free stuff. Yeah, that's the usual. Okay. Well, either way, was I meant to be fair? Oh, he's on Sun High. I remember now. Of course, that makes sense. Sun High is an actually functioning country. Right, well, we're actually all here, thank the Lord. I'm hoping you're all in the right countries. What, wait, what's this? So far, no one's ghosted. Remarkable, Jesus. Whoa! Oh my wow, god, that's that? Oh my god. It's some kind of man. I got my so fucking trash. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, it's god. way faster as well. Yeah. We're actually all the right. Like, that's, that's this is truly amazing. We might be able to do a three speed Christmas war. Christmas miracle in the middle of July. It's not July. Yeah. Even though this it's is the only lobby July. that has a lot of cost. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, right. I have chat now. Good luck. Holy fuck. Good luck. We're no off. ghosts. No, I don't believe in ghosts. No. Oh, sheer miracle. But yeah, anyway, enjoy. One thing I do never understand is the people that live with the setting of um, always do not disturb mode. Like, they're always on do not disturb. And I get it if you're like a major, I don't know, that like you get 50 pings a day if you're a YouTuber or something. Like, I don't have a problem. But my point is, is that, like, the, it means nothing if you're on do not disturb 24 7. Like, I feel like do not disturb is something you turn on when you're like doing an exam. But at that point, I think it's best to just go offline. <laughs> we'll turn your internet off. Point being, you know, I I don't think I've ever seen anyone go. Oh, this guy's on do not disturb. I will not ping him. But there we are. All right. Well, Ayata is getting their Congo line of an army back together. Um, taking stab hits, full blows, full corruption. Yeah, not looking great. Meanwhile, we are at. Well, at least they're hurting for rebels. I think Yan is literally about to break. Yeah, they're not going to get Beijing back here, so Yan will break. Uh, not Yan Jing. Oh no, Yan. Is that literally just the entirety of? Okay, that's not going to be too bad. I don't think. Oh, okay. These four provinces. And I have a bit of reconquest. I mean, Nin has a bunch of cores and so does uh, Chu, but there we are. Rebel wise, yeah, definitely breaking in under a month. But, you know, Oirat needs to needs a death war into uh, Ayatai here. Lone wise, actually, 
they're really not going to be bankrupt here. Oiran definitely has this threat to be trivial. It's just the manpower and the potential for expansion that's been severely hampered here. Not much more than that, I'm afraid. Not much more than that. Hmm. Well, surprisingly close anyway. It is actually the Ayotai is defending the fort, so it is a minus one to them, but a zero for Ayotai is not something they want to see, and a bad roll of that. Okay, there's a nine coming in for them. But that is every single reinforcement possibly in there, and that is a slaughter. Yeah, not looking great. Not looking great at all. Hey, they can pop high income. Woo. Something tells me that's not something they're actually going to be doing. But hey, at least they're also starting to integrate with the so that'll be something they can actually form the carnates. Thank God for that. But yeah, I'm no way I'm seeing them. Uh, <laughs> Oirat is not going to be winning this. Oirat uh, is definitely going to be winning this. Sorry, Ayutthaya. Well. Down they go. And if someone's car is off in the background. Did they just break? Yes, they did. Those four promises are not the most amount, of course, but there we are. At least, look at the glorious Ming Reconquest. I mean, it's minimal capacity, but there we are. My bad, but yeah, no, Oirat is just cleanly, cleanly making a comeback here. Shouldn't maybe a problem? <laughs> Although they are on siege, and I believe this is a Shun Separatist stack. No, that's a main Separatist. This, okay. Yeah, once they're on siege, that that is gone. They're not going to be able to break. I don't think. Not unless again, incredibly unlucky. Yeah, they're not going to be sieging this for sixteen months. At that point, they'll probably get some cannons over there and actually breach down the walls. But, yeah. Oh, they've started, yeah, sieging. Okay. Which has set their progress back a lot more. Yep. No rebel pops for them. No rebel pops for them. Oh, well. Yeah, rest in peace, Bendal, here, most likely, unfortunately. Oh, at least Poland is back. I'm interested to see what the AI has done. Let me guess. They've debased at least five times. Oh, they have. That's been, that's been fixed now. Economy is existent. And actually, another thing I do want to check out is economies. I think Vijayanagar is now making a lot more money from Bengal. Yeah, 80 ducats. Oh, yeah, okay. They're nicking some great trade from here. Uh, have they actually fully caught, I haven't fully caught this yet? Dear Lord. Yeah, that is terrifying. But yeah, when they fully call that and then debate, uh, decrease that, that's going to be brutal. <sighs> Bengal is going to lose most of their income. Well, as I did that, where it has been basically. Uh, oh, they formed the tag. New Sinatra, not Malaya, so there we go. Economy is just below, yeah, just below Mijanagar. How are their ideas? 10%, 15 global trade plan, 10% morale, that's fair. No discipline that I don't see. Although 25% can get combat ability, that is enough. And a, ooh, okay, that's. And ship trade power propagation, that's actually really nice as well. And loads of trade string and 10% is produced. And 10% ship durability, that is actually a relatively decent set of naval idea groups. <laughs> They have taken quantity econ here, so I'm not sure how much they'll go with navy, but they can commit here if they go naval as well. And they have access to bureaucratic, which I think bureaucratic trade is something nice, I believe, but don't quote me on that. Oh, a merchant, yeah, and regiment cost. But there we go. Yeah, okay, they have cleaned up most of their rebels now, just a couple over here, like Manchurian separatists, but beyond that. Oh, and a couple of Korean separatists. <laughs> but that should not be a problem for them. Ashikaga has, weirdly enough, AI got in against Machu. I don't know how well that'll go for them. Yeah, not looking great. <laughs> Seem better. And Aitai is going to bankruptcy. Re oh, Lord. Okay, yeah, they are just going to be bankrupt. Trying to pause the game, I think that was an accident. 
But yeah, they're just going to be bankrupt here. There's nothing they can do. They have enough them to stand back up, and once they're bankrupt, then let me get sniped up some of the Sami's mercs. 100% of the Sami's mercs. Yeah, a solid 100% of the army is mercenaries. They are insanely overforced on it. And a huge part of their income potential is gone because they don't own the capital. Yeah. Probably a good thing, of course, given that they named it well that. I don't think you even need to fight the stack order, I'll be honest with you. I don't even think you need to fight it. At 170 ducats a month loss in bankruptcy, yeah, that's... That's not pretty, that's not pretty. Well, while we're waiting to see if that happened, I do want to double check score comparison. Bengal actually, oh, they lost the Rissa, so that's going down the toilet for them. Delhi as well, okay. Bengal getting knocked out of the top of the three, definitely by the end of the loss, by the loss of that card. And Vijayanagar being very cleanly ahead of everyone else. Yeah, I mean, great last stand, actually making them hurt more and more, but cause these casualties are not going to be able to get back trivially. However, uh, ultimately pointless. Well, at least the more they hold back where we're at, the better. Granted, of course, if they don't consolidate or get rid of some troops, they're just going to be bankrupt. I mean, they're going to be bankrupt anyway, they are dead here, there is no two ways around it. They, you force them to spend a lot more mill points on this. But the thing is, of course, they can just raise their here, and when they do that, yeah. Let's hope you put the AI on. But yeah, with AI, he can cleanly take just about everything. Should probably come back to. Uh, There we go. Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry, shift tab out. But yes, well, at least this gives some uh, some room for Bengal to go in now. That is, I think that is Bengal's opportunity here. Are you tired? They have a CD, they do, against Pegu. They can, they're probably, but I don't see a way for them defending it. That is, yeah. At least migrate into Burma at this rate. Migrate into something. And I believe that is our Ethiopia sub. I can't even type in the box. I'm bad. Hello. Oh, oh yeah, of course. I probably should join. Yeah, hello. That's Ethiopia sub. Hello. Yes, on Ethiopia, please. Better than AI. Hopefully. Uh, hello. What? Yes, someone. Well, random person asked me. Uh, <laughs> I haven't heard. Haven't heard if, if they can join, and I'd rather have a random person than AI like, on a play attack. So what am I playing? Sorry again. Ethiopia. Ooh. Okay. They uh, bailed literally last half hour and I couldn't get a sub. So. Uh, no. They also had a full use of AI so far, which it sounds impressive, but again, we were on Akamara before, so that was less than stable. Um, I'm hoping the AI hasn't managed to burn the country to the ground in, in four years, and they have not, so enjoy. As uh, you have been expanding a lot into Kill World, etc., etc., and you have gone into Wait, looks. I think if I think you're actually going to form Nam looks, so but I'm not sure. So, garlic bread is gone now. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Uh, no, garlic Didn't bread. Know. I I don't know what's happening with him, but given that he dipped last second, well. Well, he was here. He, he played part of Ethiopia because he was in this chat. Oh yeah, he went to um, sub themagic then dipped. So there we go. Anyway, enjoy. 
Yeah, that's a bit of a mess with subs and everything around. But there we go. Right, hopefully a Bjorn knows how to play the game. I mean, I know I, know I certainly don't. There we go. <laughs> Now the main question is, hopefully, for the love of God and all things holy, is they've actually turned their AI on. I did turn their AI on for them, but yeah. Christ, they can consolidate deadly as well. Tord, you can double consolidate, Jesus Christ. Let me guess, I have an insane capital from that. Alone. Yep, 58, prosperity. 58, dev mountain. That's terrifying, but there we are. Well, either way, I tie is completely dead. Just, that's it. Maybe fancy armies, but they're about to be deleted. Next month, anyway. Definitely gonna enter internal conflicts, yep. It's a guaranteed internal conflicts. At this rate, there's no way going to get mono points to get the stab up. AI is not going to be able to burn this in any reasonable, in my stretch of imagination. There's the bankruptcy. There goes their mercs. There goes their everything. They are still losing money, which is incredible, because they're max on return corruption. The fact that max return corruption tells me the AI is not actually taking over this country, which is an incredibly bad thing. But there we go. What is Horde? Right, we'll need to double check <coughs> to make sure the country's not brain dead, which would be an issue if it is. The family of internal corruption tells me that they probably are. But there we go. Oh, two targets of interest on one loan. That's brutal. I think it's going to be a bankruptcy spiral this right? They're not going to get out, out of this one. Actually, again, I didn't actually double check. I just done a lot in my room because it's getting dark. Oh, scary! But I did need to double check. His player on here is Adam. yeah. Okay, double check with him. If countries, uh... hello. I'm not uh, that uh, smart. <laughs> uh, Anthony, uh, do you know if the magic is brain dead or not? I did turn AI oh, on, we, but we couldn't hear you. Oh, oh is is I tired now of AI? That's the issue, because I have a suspicion they're not, because they're not, because AI does never root out corruption, and they root out corruption. I mean... So, but the issue is, I don't know, but it's of course the, the old paradox problem of, you know, it, I think his AI settings are to do nothing. Uh, so if I, mean, if I haven't is, sent the peace deal when yet. When you send the peace deal, yeah, when you send the peace deal, uh, tell me if it doesn't do anything. Alright, we'll do. if not, I will try and hopefully pull someone out in a second. All right. Okay, I, I know you don't have to, this is not a thing, but please be nice, Borders. <laughs> no. It's They're not uh, gonna be nice. They're not gonna, gonna be, be nice. I, horrible. Believe me, I'm forming Siam and I've got to sneak some provinces. Christ. So, uh, they're not gonna be nice, Borders. Christ on a bicycle. <laughs> they're not gonna be nice. Hey, well, it'll be nice for warning. a few more years. Thanks, thanks for the warning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, well that's terrifying. That is incredibly terrifying and I'm incredibly worried, but there we go. Oh, okay, it's already taken National Bank. I thought it was Aotai, but well. Stroke of good fortune, but yeah, no. Not when they are losing 10 ducats a month on bank. Jesus Christ. They're actually going to enter a second bankruptcy in this street. You get more internal. Yeah, stab less than zero, and Christ, yep. Well, that is concerning. 
surprised uh, they're still allied, although I don't think they are. Yeah, they broke, so. Bengal, free. Free out of time. The fact that you're moving your troops in forward here tells me that, yeah, that's what he's going to have to go for here. Completely open for him to take. Absolutely no one standing his way there, so there we go. Best of luck to him with that. What a horrible mess. <laughs> what a horrible mess. And yeah, he's gone in. Yeah, no surprises there. Issue as well again, I think they um, they might be brain dead, so there's gonna be no pieces to take. Well this is Bengal's play, they have to do something here, so hopefully they take the land that doesn't uh, put them at odds with or we're at at least, not too violently. Maybe something more akin to this. Yeah, and money. Did he actually... He's actually renamed them all now. I swear I turned that off. I swear I turned that off, but there we go. And Transox and Poland to go in at it. That's an actual play. Well, well, no, that's Defender of Faith, I think, actually. Maybe? Question mark? Is Poland fighting this? Yeah, that doesn't look like it. I'll be honest with you. Doesn't look like it at all. And yeah, I think they, they, you always end up with a group. I don't know how Volgos, but I've seen as Poland so many times with the Volgos to get on it. I think it's just geographical proximity and Volgos always goes for it, but yeah. Well, best of luck to them in that whole debacle. <clears throat> The issue is every time anyone wants to beat up our Italian, we can have to get a person to hot join. Which is never fun. But there we go. They move the trade capital to... It's genius. Oh, did they have it on um, Hunger or something? I think AI moves it back to... Which is unfortunate. <coughs> but there we are. God, they're behind in tech. And somehow civilian debt, but there we go. No idea how they managed to do that. But yeah, fake war. I think this is Defender of Faith. Yeah, Defender of Faith against Muscovy. Yep, makes sense. Went Orthodox as well, so no um, no impression. UJ killing the rest of Bakamani is no surprise there at all. Yep, fair enough. Okay. 100% be interesting to see what they will be taking here by Bengal, but yeah, I think he's going for the... Uh, for the same migration into the trade node he was going for earlier. Pack up, Bengal leaves, packs up and leaves to go to um, Burma. Is there a tag you can form there? Well, oh, Barat, but that's not really a thing. He has gone for, yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, still making some money despite the VJ cause here existing, which means God, they're sucking even more trade now. 
Yeah, that trade's gone to the bottom. He's entirely relying on tax income basically at this point to survive, which is not the best to be in, but there we go. Well, at least Ores gets a much freer game now with Aitai gone. Um, I think Aitai's decision to actually death all from this has been a mistake. But there we go. Well, best of luck with that battle. No, I don't matter as much as just an AI slaughter. Right, beyond that. Yeah, okay, that play war says could be. Um yeah, Transox could in Russia, they beast out. And Bohemia's could in Austria, nice. What is going on with the Emperor ship given the whole Reformation's kicked off? Uh, Britain is the centre. So is Montferrat, and so is Savoy. Oh, yeah, Savoy harkened both centres because they, they enforced on Montferrat, forcing a centre spawn there. Yeah, okay. Okay, I see. Um, right. Yeah, I can't peace. What a surprise. Alright. What? Unfortunate. Well, I can't Correct. peace now. Oh. We could, we can fix this bonus with a rehost, but I really don't want to do that right now. I'm going to ping a person I know who at least has the game. They don't need more competence than that. Um, but there we go. See if you can. Well, that's that's a useful. Apparently, he can't. Good to know. Shite, sir. Uh, Probably also need to peace out Bengal, too. To be, yeah, they need to be sub and Garlas. Well, once they both get there. Yeah, I can. I trust me. I can know that I tie brain dead. Yeah, slightly Pretty annoying. Much so, but I. Fixing these problems, don't I? Might have to do a rehost in all fairness of this rate. Right? Just not pretty. Yeah. You're, not, a bit unfortunate. you're not hurting too much. If you're hurting too much from the source, you shouldn't be on camp forcing, but no, I think you're fine. It's just annoying that you can't. I mean, I've it. got 70 over extension. Yeah. I don't I have cough of peace yet, though. So it's I'm okay. fine until I have cough of peace. No, that's fair. At that point, I'll probably pause and force the rehost. I have pinged people. Hopefully, they can get some response, but you know, the issue is that. What? I think I should rival Portugal or Bohemia. Right. What do y'all think? Or Bohemia? Yeah, I need to rival Portugal or Bohemia. They're scarier. I'm gonna do Portugal. Bohemia is scarier. Sure. But we're all kind of like the same size in Europe. Okay, um, you should have a person hold you in once. Fantastic. Uh, Where's Oko, by the way? Oko. Uh, he just dipped last last second, so yeah. Make room. Wow, very, very sad. Mm -hmm. Do remind me, by gonna the way, for the... the next session to fix up a reseedable Japan and a reseedable island. Whoa, 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 whoa. Reseedable Japan? Japan's not going to be reseedable after this session. What the hell are you planning to do Japan? To make sure it's not reseedable. So it's my right, I need, I'll do the I same need viral. like to see there somewhere, and Japan is no, 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 no. Okay, I'll do the same to Ireland. And we can reseed players on the co op with all you're at. <laughs> I don't want to have people co op. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't think, we're, first of all, I don't think that's where you have a lobby. Secondly, um, if your co-op's not here, a significant disadvantage. And we don't have that many players to fill out the game. If we had like 50 people, then sure. 
but I'd rather have other tags. Lame. We can speed three, in fairness. Uh, no, we can't speed three. We do not. Cannot speed three. I think technically, um, quote unquote, Bengal will get a. F they won't have to beat up Ayutai to get that B steal, but don't know how much they take. Ayutai is dead. Like, yeah. Ayutai is very dead. Up. Yeah, they only had money. They had nothing. They are losing money while bankrupt. They are bankrupt again, I think. They bankrupt twice? I, think yeah. I mean, but they were losing their country is very They were fucked. losing six ducats a month after bankruptcy. An yeah, and they only made like total eight. ten. Eight. So, oh, right now, yeah, their in total income is three. Oh, well, you know, progress. <laughs> My goodness. But yeah, yeah, that's their second bankruptcy because Jesus Christ, twelve percent interest. Now we're all. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a dead country. They tried. That is true. Mm -hmm. It is a dead country. They did try. You know, gotta give them the credit for that. Two. How long does it take to launch a U4? Quite a while. Fair it's enough. the first launch of the day. It always takes forever. It's a well, it depends how many save games you have. And also depends if you end up launching it without enough. No, so yours too. Uh, do you have call for? Uh, tell me if you have call for pizza with force in that case. But I really don't. Uh no, I won't have. It's my entering the fifth year of the war, so I'll probably have it soon, but not yet. Okay, it will pause on that, because that's unfair to punish you for. It's time to get Mike. Back. As you can guess, but there you go. Enjoy your uh, free water access for the last 65 months at least. Thank well, you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Sport fashion will go up on well, it. Oh, no, no, just screwed now. Mean Squad Beijing back, they're going to recover that mandate. <laughs> yeah, they totally are. Yeah, that's it. Country it runs over. Yeah. I did lose Beijing, the yeah. rebels. Yeah, unfortunately, I think that's what his the idea was. I mean, I killed all the other rebels. So I wasn't gonna break to anything else, but I those, they took Beijing, and I wasn't gonna unseize sit a it. bunch of troops up there to unseize it. And Beijing's fourteen dev. It's like I'll burn it again. I don't care. Fair. Oh, I, 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 you didn't again. consolidate um, Central Thailand. Is that because you're gonna? Move camp. You're gonna change primary culture. I, I'm, I want to flip culture, and if I yeah. put my, if I consolidate and move the dev to my capital, it's gonna be really hard to flip culture. That's fair. Oh, well, you did burn it. I have. Um, of course, I'm gonna burn it. <laughs> I want those points. That's fair. Them points, he says. God, even post burn, it's equal to your capital. Can you please rename it away from the Nazi stuff when you take oh. it release? Oh yeah, I don't know. I I thought that was like I not I allowed. I turned that off, I'm pretty sure, in the settings, but apparently uh, what I have turned off instead of that is covering the bloody wastelands. Yo, well, Lemon, you wanna uh, show me, like, the economies in uh, Europe, maybe? Uh, sure, what do you want? We have Poland, who's running something resembling an income. Bohemia, I think, may have best, but yeah, 61, decent. Uh, Burgundy yes, is yeah. also has something around 14, and I think. I know, Portugal. I'm Burgundy. Okay, fair. Portugal 45. What's Portugal? 45. Oh. Savoy, oh, Italy, Italian boy's rich. I just, I need to integrate like Gascony and all that crap. That's fair, you did integrate them by the way. Only to release them, yeah? When you, yeah, put... Yeah, but like, I didn't get their cores. I want to yeah, try that as a run by the way, actually. Get, get a free integrate, play Burgundy, super aggressively go for Gascony, and they gave yeah. you inherited to get a free Burgundy. I know. Free Gascony. That's what the plan was, but it took a little longer than I hope. I'm integrating Burgundy or Gascony. How long will this take? I don't know. Does the exploit exist still? Where if you get subjugation to be on like bloody Brittany, you can call in France go belligerent. No, they fixed that. God damn it. They fixed that this okay, patch. Okay, here's here is peace deal acceptor man. Yeah. I'm, I'm just slowly. I gotta take three provinces in Lowlands, and then I can. Kill France and then I'll form Netherlands. Enjoy. Well, once France is gone, that'll be your free Netherlands. Yeah. Well, and then I get Dutch Republic. 
Dutch Republic will help me so much. Well, Republican, Dutch Republican is. That's the thing, I I think with the current patch where you don't really care about giving the nobles your crown line because it's a pathetic amount of manpower anyway. Like, mm -hmm. there's really no reason to not go Republic unless you're a mon you know. Unless you have some special kind of monarchy, you should really be going Republic. Yeah. Unless you're like and then you get the special Dutch Republic that gives you, what is it, 20% uh, twenty percent force limit. Does it? Is, yeah, that's that's the good part about it. I saw you, you also, the... I know you also get a merchant stuff, which is better than Yeah, that. you get a merchant, you get a bunch of stuff through missions. Uh, okay, not sure about the order pause. of that. I don't have a diplomat. Okay. Alright, I'm hoping next time I go to war with oh, yeah, cool England. Piece. Yeah, I got like last month. There you go. Right. Peace deal. You got your diplomat. Yeah. Oh, 11th. You recently sent a diplomat. What did you just say? Oh, I see you there. Okay. Yeah. I see you're not trade. Oh, okay, I see you're not showing his bank card. <laughs> Wonder there what we his go. Would be. Wonder why he's not showing his bank card. There we go. Oh my. He's just. Snake. Look at that. Bengali does nothing. But that's the thing. Can Ayutaya form Sam, by the way? Or are they like locked from forming Sam? They have to so, get 20. They're locked. Admin tech 20 for, their... for Sam. So, yes. Uh, no, no, no. This... It's the mission tree. You, yeah, you have to form Siam through the IFI mission tree, but everyone else in the region just has to own the provinces with no tech so, requirement. This is what you do. Seriously. Like Ayutthaya, you... Ayutthaya is like the worst one in the region. Uh, I, I, Ayutthaya yeah. is fine. Because as Ayutthaya, you take the Lao culture, form Lanzang, and then you form Siam. Hmm. Or just yeah, like missions. Just... How bad are your missions then... anyway? The mission, mission. the mission is like absolutism for But like, yeah, that's... Siam. Yeah, you have to get the like it's locked. Oh, I see. Lots of some country changes for them. That is so dumb. Yeah. Because your idea is like dog shit. Until then, there there is an alternative for Ayutthaya. Oh, they exactly can also right. form it at, at Tech Twenty. There's no. there's through the mission tree or Tech Twenty, no, but no, mission sure. tree you can do it like sixteen ten. They're not German. Uh, they don't need to tech form the Tech Twenty. Oh, so, yo, limit. Yeah. Next grand campaign, we should do a multiplayer mod balancing mod yeah like there is a lot of things that if we ever do a, with a mod that i really want to change but the issue is this is meant the gc is meant to be a uh, noob friendly intro thing and once we start adding well it's stuff, like yeah. well um, so multiplayer mods are more for balancing the world so you can play in africa and not like kill yourself every time because of tech so you get a lot more places to play no again i understand that but that's why I would agree with it, but it's more of the you know increasing uh, increasing barriers to entry for new players who want to try you for multiplayer for the first time. Like forming deck in that uh, tech twenty is dumb. Oh yeah. And you stand don't need attack. Nope. Ah. <sighs> Can the Protestant centers of Reformation hit Rome, or is that like scripted? I've seen them do it. I think. Uh, there. There's, there's two reform waiting. centers in Italy, and they're just not doing it. Yeah, I think in theory. The rest of Italy, so. I believe in theory they can, but they need to basically exhaust every other province within their range before they'll do it. I think. I know I've seen them oh. do it on Rome because it's actually really annoying because oh, yeah. it's doing a Catholic France pastry. Uh, with Look at the Protestant you know, people. Look George. at them. I was, I, a friend. It was brand new to the game on England. And I was just saying, hoping okay, I'll carry on um, But there we go. Well, uncontested course. Bro, my power projection's been on point this game. Holy well, really, what a surprise. You've been murdering everything that moves <laughs> in your general direction. I, I can't Man, do it's that. It's also as no much majors as I want. except. Burgundy is a major. He's the only major. <laughs> right. Well, but I have to build AE. That's that's a major. AE is a major. What do you mean? AE is the major. Literally. If Wait, what me do you and mean? Bohemia, all, all, all players are majors. I, I mean, all players. 
At this point, yeah. Majors are players, but so. We didn't all start as majors. No, that's the point. I guess. I don't think I don't. I'm not sure who actually started as a major. I like Burgundy Poland. No, Burgundy I mean, are oh, kind of a major? I didn't start as a major. Poland doesn't I... start as a major. They become a major when they get Lithuania because Lithuania is a major. So well, I mean, majors in like a strong country. I don't mean right. majors in great, great power. power. Oh, fair as a major, yeah, probably Burgundy then. Um, Bohemia, no, that's, I think, the definition of a... Uh, no, nah, I don't think Bo Bohemia is. Mythos I think country. Poland definitely is if there's no Lithuania. I think VJ. VJ is probably a major. Yeah, I'd say Oyret is probably one, as long as there's no, no Ming or anything. No. Saying that, Ming, Oyerat. player Ming versus player Oyerat. Obviously, you'd never see the Ming, because... I, would, I wouldn't well, want to play Oyerat, because I think you'd lose yeah. no matter what. You'd lose no you matter what, because... You think you can because a, us, a, I mean easily because uh, oh, AI. You just don't send your well, general, then do you? Yeah, you yeah. don't send. You just don't put your king on an army, and then you win because you can't get the event without exactly. fucking capturing the king. Yo, so Sapoy, what's your income? Absolute genius. Uh, How much 49. money? You made? Uh, mine is zero. Oh. I'm <laughs> Thought it was more. Anyway, enjoy. All right, enough of that horrible mess. Well, at least there's no playable, so a bit more chill for me. <laughs> Which is fun, and it gains all around. How are we looking on the ledger for, again, score? Yeah, BJ. Delhi overtaking Belly now. Of course, has been lost. So, yeah. Not looking great for Delhi. At least they are migrating into uh, Dali here. Not sure if Orad wants to... Uh, do something about that, but there we go. Also, uh, Vijayanagar stayed Hindu, which is interesting, giving 10% morale to Bengal at least. But of course, it's the idea is that the issue they cannot form Nepal as well because they've lost the majority of Nepal, <laughs> which is an issue, yeah, not great. I think if they change their primary culture group to the one in here, they can form Laos, I think. But, yeah. Good luck for them in that. Good luck for them in that. <laughs> Have they taken a spy silence? Oh, they taken a spy silence. Haven't debbed it really, though. And, oh, unlucky. That's not close, that's fish. Oh, that's incredibly unlucky. Are they converting this as a- oh, they're just calling that, okay. Oh, at least they are still trading in cloves. Which is a nice one to be trading in, that's our trade efficiency. They are basically murdered everyone else here. Have they got idea was they haven't actually got a colonist? I think that's why they picked up a subject so they colonize this for them. Although they, the said subject hasn't actually done that either. So there is still land here to grab, but there we go. Interesting to see if they will go expansion either now or would they go quality for quality expansion probably is the shout for them, but there we go. We'll see. Making wow actually I think they are starting to approach highest income by quite the margin. Yeah they are. I think they have highest income. They do have highest income and the highest navy. Which isn't saying much, they have eight heavies. But there we go. Still a non-trivial amount of boat. Okay, went for trade. Okay. Trade trade flagship is trade flagship. And they do have 90% of Malacca and most of uh, the Malukas. And also making 40% out of Siam. Jesus Christ, sorry, that's a bit of extended, but then again, I think they had to uh, scorch the land here, yeah, so that's at least kind of, unfortunately, because of that truce break, they were screwed over in that regard. Thank God for the renaming back to uh, the actual names, but there we go. Rip the hit points. Um, let me guess, how tires depths spiral even more again. 
Uh, kind of. <laughs> you know, I'm starting internal conflicts as well, which is not great. You now Vietnamese separatists, and oh Lord Ming. Horrific. Well, it's this rate, me, so I don't have to take anything. Christ, so that country's gone. Absolutely and utterly. But, yep, yeah, Delhi, okay, finally starting to integrate with that. Looking kind of interesting there, but we shall see. I mean, then Bengal can make a comeback here, although it's very much stacked against them now. They've been really kicked out of Bengal, let me guess, with full cause and autonomy going down. Yeah, that's only going to get worse and worse. I think VJ is out of admin to fully core everything. Or well, they just haven't statified. Or is it? They have not. can actually decrease autonomy here further, that's insane. Make basically all the trade. I mean, I know I would. Making quite a bit now, although Hormuz has taken their sweet bite out of it somehow. Hormuz, yeah, player, yeah. Understandable. Interesting what, to see what Ethiopia will be doing with this mess. I think Mutapa is their subject, there it is. Well, let's stop there. <sighs> right. God, this is ugly. But yeah, Oirat's City on two player kills. Congratulations on that. Front. Grey Horde has been absolutely slaughtered, and uh, Transox going to Muscovy. Oh, that's a bit of a cursed one, but there we go. Kind of ironic that the uh, oh Bashkiria, it's not Bashkir, not the gold, no the uh, capital. And then there we are. Right. Is that who I think it is colonizing? Oh Leon. Okay, okay. Leon's gone colonial. Exploration. Yeah. Okay. You can actually get a colonist as well. I think because yeah, released by Portugal. So. Exploration expansion, despite reasonable conquest by them, that's kind of impressive. I think that will be all fed cause, yeah. Best of luck for them in that. But there we are. I do want to actually, let's double check on someone who's doing something fun. Which is probably just on high, because I haven't been in Shanghai in ages. How is his recovery going? Uh, going through quantity now, not as good as quantity econ, but the economy is doing much, much better. Very goal based economy as well. No denying that. I'm assuming around 10 dev on everyone. Yeah, 10 dev on everyone for that 6 ducats a month. He has popped the wealth of Africa. Which is probably for the best for his inflation, which is through the roof, absolutely, Jesus Christ. He do he does need to get a chop on his tech as well, just needs to catch up on monarch points. He has eaten an insane amount of land there, so that's kind of understandable. See any of these people as a subject? Yeah, I can bear that with Portuguese tech ten, yeah. Pan Africa is not the best. We can try for speed three. I think we might actually be fine here, in all fairness. But we need to check the month tick. Joshua is the main person suffering there, but he endured that. He endured that. So actually, I think it's looking good. I think we're going to get with speed three here, which is nice for once in our life. And get more than 10 years done in a bloody session because we're already halfway through and only 9 years in. No player wars as well, so that's a liberation. 
But there we are. Right. Okay, I need to reseed on England eventually, as much as I hate them saying it. And Japan potential reseed here. Well, best luck to them in that. But there we go. Right, beyond that. How is... Yeah, okay. Okay, just a long person. I was wondering if they were having any troubles. But let's start talking ledger, because I want to check out a few fun things. Namely... Go on, Lewis. I know magic parties, man, no magic parties, the goddamn, I can't pronounce that name of that tag. <laughs> uh, let's check. Yeah, Nusa Nat Natra. Nusa Natra? Nusa Natra? Nusantara. 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 Top being come forward by VJ making all of Bengal straight. QQ actually is a name I did not expect up here. I think that's because Persia is where they're making their money. At least I would assume that to be the case. Let me quickly check the trade value of Persia here. Ooh, yeah, 80% of that is very impressive. So that would do it, and yeah, trade is highest, so no question about that. Good to see a QQ there. Bohemia followed by that. Gold mines and in general just being a nice chunky boy in the HRE, having free domain over Germany basically. Once that's been resolved, Delhi followed by next, just in due to size, and then Ottomans, but that's AI. So Ottomans remain an actual threat, ironically enough. Now Ethiopia exists as well, but that's mostly gold, followed by Savoy and Poland, Hummus. Should probably actually have players only on ticked on this. Sweden lowest income at twenty nine, yeah that's not great, not great at this late into the game. Not sure what's going on with that. He has the ideas going for him. Actually, full ideas can start deving. We're not paying for any of his forts or anything. 11 loans, but they're all burger loans without exception, so that's not too bad at all. Just no real trade income. Very much living off the, uh, the copper mine. God, yeah, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Not sure what the plan is after this. I think to consolidate into Norway, Denmark, and then start taking more bites out of Russia. But we shall see. He may basically form form Russia, not not form form Russia, but become a Russia of sorts. Sweden, idea group wise, is very very respectable. Twenty percent of accountability is not the best because you'd rather have other things, but you take that anyway. A possible policy and the. Legitimacy is nice. You definitely take the strict cavalry cost. It's kind of who cares. Manpower recovery you do take. You have some some stab cost is nice. Goods per use is nice, and national manpower definitely is what you want here. So, a very respected idea group set overall. But you probably, unironically enough, do want to form um, not Scandinavia but Russian. Right. Okay, we're at going in against Korea here and going into round two against the Ming. Best of luck for them in that. Whew. Hopefully, it won't burn them too much in the process, but yeah, Bengal, I think. The aura has been pretty clear in saying that uh, Siam is mine, which I think is fair to some extent as well. Now I'm Bengal going into Chengdu here, which I think is just more in lure of a under desperate for land, I will take mountains. Although this is tropical wood, given 
I guess it is pretty tropical, and I guess it is a wood province, so there we go. Get unrelated. Is there that much tropical wood around? Oh, all the way around Bengal, and yeah. Hmm, quite a lot in the tropics, I guess, what a surprise, but yeah. And Ming stole the emerald, but oh my god, of course they did. Of course they can't actually steal it back because they need to occupy it and they can't unoccupy it. That's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. I think if they take it in the piece, though, they get it. It's just 0.5 prestige, so. You know what they will take, but most likely will just take island. Um, take coast here just to prevent Ming being eatable by anyone else. Yeah. Take their coastline. Probably the same can be said for Korea as well. Although Korea mainly is coastline, so that's really not saying much. <laughs> but there we go. Yeah. There's be still okay to the other side of the coastline, fair enough. So they can start looking at the concept that is Ashka. I don't know don't know how they do it on boats. Uh they have some. I don't know how that would do against Ashikaga's boats. Very well. They will do incredibly well against Ashikaga's completely non existent navy. Okay. Well, I guess the Mongols are going to be able to invade uh, Japan, Typhoon, or no Typhoon. Mami go Ethiopia going against Mamluks again. Fair enough. I. I'm not sure what they're trying to form here, but in fairness, Mamluks would be a good type to form for them. We will take something like this in fairness. Horimus will break, so they should probably. Oh, that's true, they are kind of having to share this stuff with Horimus. I'm not sure what they'll take in that regard then. But there we go. I'm pretty happy with how we can run speed 3 at least, so that's that's really nice to see. Whew. Well, another fun thing to check is where is everyone's victory card then? So yeah, Delhi has... Oh, Transox got their card on that. Delhi has their card, VJ has their card. They're definitely going to go for this card here. Ayutai does not have their card. Oirat's card is on over there. No cards over there, fair enough. QQ's card is on Astrakhan. Yeah, so once they integrate Astrakhan, they will get their card on Astrakhan, fair enough. Savoy got a card on Burgundy, and Burgundy got a card on Savoy. Yeah, they're not going to be getting that without a war. Bohemia got a card on Poland as well. Ah, Poland didn't want back on Saisha. Not the best situation for our European friends. At least Portugal is looking at having half their card. Please do hurry up and integrate Mongolia. Although this trade that might take them a while. But no. Oh, well. oh, this is cursed. And no, not the Emerald Buddha. But yeah. I mean, it's actually a very nice model to have the Emerald Buddha if you are playing as a. Um, well, a, an actually Buddhist country. Because. If you look, it gives you Monte Karma. Either can you have that negative or positive. You normally have that positive because normally you're very negative karma from what the wars you're starting. But there we go. So it kind of helps you stay in the middle, but realistically it's, it is what it is. Right. 
But that it is. There goes that sword. Okay. Wow, I'm just trying to open the. I'm trying to open the ledger here and I get 50 fog ups. Jesus Christ. Talk to me about pop ups, bloody hell. No players, wars, yep. Oh, come on, Josh, Josh. So, which player has high simulation? Too many players for that. <laughs> God damn it. I don't know how much things there are in the actual ledger, like chart. Oh, it's. Yeah. This is actually ought to be useful, by the way. Oh, come on, Josh, Josh. Uh, there we go. So, largest navy is between Portugal, is between there. In terms of light ships, no one really cares. Uh, yeah, players. Largest navy does go to Majibahi, no surprise there. On the galleys, actually, is Savoy, but that's because they don't have any heavies. Okay, fair enough. I mean, like, no one is surprised at all. He has the highest naval quality. No one has any naval quality, I see. Well, Portugal 79 tradition actually probably puts them for the best, but they're not paying for their boats, so that knocks them down for that, obviously, but there we go. Right, enough messing around with the legend. How are people actually doing? Well, as again, there's no more player wars. I don't know how quickly Bengal is going through converting themselves, but yeah, this does hurt their existence. God, they're really getting their trade nicked. To the point of sheer absurdity. This, they're not going to be safe to find, but... At least they haven't decreased the autonomy manually on this, which is... Brutal. If they would, that would basically be the entirety of your trade gone. They collect here. They do actually collect here, there's no point transferring to there, yeah. Understandable. How are how is the Mamluk slaughter? Because realistically, I don't see the Mamluks to be in any condition to put up anything resembling a fight. And they are not, so Extreme War score just means yeah. Surprise they went in the same war. But there we go. Oh, well, Ethiopia has a bit of a war chest, so congratulations to them. I do want to see how um, Arak is doing in terms of Jesus Christ, he's really getting the whole economy going. Four burger loans, no complaints there. Actually, a subject. Did he get Majapahit? He did get Majapahit. And none of them are colonizing, because Majapahit is gone defensive espionage. Oh, of course they have. Which is unfortunate. They also haven't state fight anything, because they're so far over gunning camp. They have okay. I haven't given everything up, but there we go. Well, best of luck with them in that. Also, the last two hours. This is now be a thing. Well, Son Hai, how are you recovering? We haven't gone into there, and hey, Portugal has kind of arrived at least. But yeah, not looking great. Not looking great. Economy is at least existent, but that's so gold based, it's kind of disgusting. He needs every single one at point in huge quantities, but that's the issue of having to dev basically three two institutions and expanding this quickly this early. He, yeah. Argument is she should have vassal fed more, but it's so easy to be a backseat gaming, so let's be real here. He has done quite well to not die anyway. 
I think his main source of lack of death is the fact that Portugal doesn't care enough about him to go kill him soon. There we go. And I think Portugal probably prefers a land ally over here anyway. Hmm, you take those. So quite nice. He also does have Alhambra, so. Yeah. I still don't understand how the hell that gives you 5% admin efficiency and how that got approved, because he used to give you 15. Uh, don't know how that'll go for you, but good luck. They broke. That's how that went for them, I see. <laughs> Yep, well. <laughs> Didn't go too well for you, but did it, Portugal? Took a trust hit. Better well. I think that is Burgundy reclaiming. Okay, not reclaiming all of their cores, but. They do have cores on high They probably are very interested in getting back. Austria's called a co belligerent, but let's be honest, the amount of Styria being uh, fed right now, which is also Hussite. It's a bit cursed, but there we are. Well, Hasset Styria, not what you'd expect every game, but there we go. Go, have gone to Galactic Economics, so not worth it, but it's something. Empire is still somehow, in some godless fashion, actually getting through authority. I have no clue how that's going, but there we go. I mean, they have subjugated an elector, I believe. Oh, they have which electors? Oh, Saxony is yeah, that would do it. Well, this behemoth can be claimed to be a uh, faceless bastion, but there we go. Probably say that five percent morale. Not that it matters too much, but it's still nice to have in any player wars. Oh, and speed too, because Delhi. Now the issue is, I think that's Delhi being a bit overconfident because then Gog can probably fight this. As a matter of fact, he can fight this. He can really fight this. Saying that Jesus, equal force to it even. Gog, of course, has literally no player allies. Let's go on the side. Now the main thing is. For some reason, of course, Delhi actually has godly leaders, which I'm surprised Moses has managed to get. It's, I think there may it must be an event leaders for some regards of that, or just got incredibly lucky because Jesus Christ, how did they get those leaders? Huh? I see if they take that last province here, that means they can pop that mission then. Oh, once they conquer Bengal, they have a 50% morale mission. Makes sense, I guess. Are these mercs? They're murking. Okay, Bengal is murking with professionalism. Slack and don't murk with professionalism, but there we go. Not that we're not fair to Slack at this point. 100k manpower force in it, but there we go. Got those generals. Definitely be fighting a bit of an uphill battle there, but at least they're quite spread out, and maybe here early they'll be able to get away with something here. I'm not sure. They're definitely going for it. Yeah. I think they have to. Depends if this fort's going to fall next. It did not, okay, but they breached walls. Well, then they go. Real question is, ironically enough, can Delhi reinforce? They can from there, okay. Well, let's take it from the uh, Bengal perspective. Just marching behind on morale, not that it matters too much, but that morale point is a thing. They are running a morale advisor, okay. They're going to feed into that pretty well, properly, I would assume, here, yep. Yeah. Okay. And that's a zero, that's a bit unlucky, but there's we go, that's an eight. Again, your dice rolls will average out. It's just more the individual luck or dislike at this point. And they're taking the battles properly, I mean, but Delhi's there ready to reinforce. 
And I think numbers eventually will win them out here, whether they like it or not. I mean, they can sort you with 2k, but it's glorified cosmetic when uh, they're barely winning and Delhi's about to march. They're not even winning, I'd argue. No. Yep, that's it. Yeah, not great. They do need to build up a force summit, really. They, if they had the extra 20k here, they could have competed that. I'm not sure why they're not a force summit, but there we go. I guess they were not expecting the swarm. Interesting to see what they will take here from Delhi, but I guess if Bengal does want to death, well, they have an opportunity. The lack of income, however, really does hurt. There's no two question about it. Maybe an opportunity as well for someone else to go into Delhi here, although they have quote unquote allied Nusanatra. No, oh, they will do much as we saw um, in Ayutthaya. But they can take some fights in the mountains, that would be glorious for them, but we shall have to see. Oh, best luck for them in that. Yeah, okay, looking at the debt, they're going into this properly. Oh well, I say that, they're just rebuilding their army. Okay, not sure what the hell they're doing, but best luck to them in that endeavor. And VJ has gone in against Delhi. Well, that may be the saving grace of Bengal, ironically enough. Yep, because Nusanatra has not joined that war. And let's check with who would they be allied with? A player. They lose trust? Probably. <laughs> so I believe that is a disarmament. Well, there goes the Indian Thunderdome. This does actually give opportunity for Bengal to recover, and if they can start eating into Delhi, this can let them play, play that off each other. Eventually, as well, VJ needs to realize that, yes, they can go in now. They've got the um, they got their Golden Age. They've got their uh, fancy morale from got well Golden Age, the Conquest, everything. But once those two go, that's 20% morale. That's just gone. And they can't pop that back with the Death War Golden Age. So that's something they definitely need to bear in mind. Force them existence in their economy is glorious, but especially now that they got Garconda. 24 dev Garconda is nothing to complain about. Oh, I see, they're gonna go south to fight, yeah. Well, Malay is still just about pulling, pushing through higher income. Um, but yeah, let's take that from the Delhi perspective. I'm not sure whose best perspective would be here. It's kind of a lot of hidden information and Vijayanagar seems very insistent on death stacking 123k together. I do want to see what Bengal is doing and that is they're getting their front line back together. I think Delhi realized he probably wants to be on the defensive here. Not with these kind of numbers against him. His main bet, ironically enough, is again, don't fight to go at the same time, uncon to one of them. I don't think they want to take that. I think this is Bengal's probably one and only choice here. But they need to be proved to be willing to fight, so they probably need to take this fight here. And BJ's about to walk in. Yeah, probably will this fall, will probably fall here at 71%. It does not, that is incredibly unlucky. That means VJ will be relieving the siege here. Okay, let's say that from a Delhi perspective. And they've entered two battles. Simultaneously, and Bengal get a reinforcement stack here as well, or try to anyway. Unfortunately, dipped. Okay, well there goes Ethiopia. <laughs> Fortunate, but yeah, okay. Delhi forced them to retreat here. Bengal moving in to ensure that would be a a success, and there we go. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, definitely those two working together, though. Okay, they need to unseach their land, because remember, as soon as they get to 40 war score, they can enforce white piece. So they definitely don't want to be at 40 war score here. They have the advantage here. And as soon as they start getting provinces back, they'll be fine. Yeah. Reverting control, reverting control. They need their capital back as well. They don't have taking. But there we go. Well, best of luck to him in that. <coughs> Right. Okay, BJ is actually going to help them here. That's kind of ironic. If they do end up working together in Bengali instead of getting their land back, there's some kind of agreement here. That'll be kind of amazing. But there we are. At least this keeps Bengal alive. And Delhi probably not looking the best of the world right now. Not sure where their war goal is. Mungi. Yep. Okay, that province. Because again, they want to conquer Sihin. I do see their main problem, of course, with Delhi, is that their Death's War 15% round of armies they can pop requires, well, killing Bengal. You are in this age, can Bengal pop a golden age? Convert provinces? No, no. No, how do you force convert another country, really? They can easily do that as well, just a button press, not that it would do much. Yeah, I don't think you can pop a golden age in this stage as well, which is awkward. So they need to slide to the 1600s in each of absolute somewhere. They can definitely get five unions and hopefully 204 limit and whatever else you can get in that. I can't remember what else the other requirements are. I don't think they're trivial though. So they, they'll have a relatively late golden age. But it's a perfect golden age for Delhi. Ah, uh, you can send those three white pieces all you want, but he has no need to accept them at that kind of war score. Although he probably... Should be careful with that again, considering taking is against them. If they can somehow rush more war score into the uh, into the equation, then that would be it. But there we go. Okay, not with that kind of siege ticks. They can even take fifteen k back home to sort out that mess. Are they getting subsidies from anyone? No. But okay, Delhi's coming back with a vengeance. And BJ is not going to be fighting that siege over. Or at least I say that Delhi is... Yep, yeah, okay, building up for a... Uh, okay, BJ is going to be moving up north. They know that they need to uh, preserve... The Bengal combatability to some extent. They have breached force here, that's fair. God, they're stacking. Unlucky, unlucky, it's 74%. Probably warrant an assault. Okay, yeah, they're moving that off. And they're getting ready for the battle. At least have a nice general here before two. But Vijay needs to get into those battles. Yesterday, Jesus Christ, that's actually really bad. That might be enough war score to get them out. That might be enough war score to get them out. VJ needs to get there yesterday. That might be enough. Point 0.9. Okay, no, VJ got one stack in. And we just got the second stack in, 1.4 morale. Okay. They retreat 41 war score, they can enforce a white piece. Unfortunate, they can enforce a white piece. Remarkable that Delhi's been able to push this kind of number through, but I think Delhi's realised that, yeah, he's going to have to death wall this. Not really a death wall, but, yeah. It's hurting. He can take the white piece against Delhi. Don't know if he wants to at this point, but I guess I probably would, and then just focus on killing VJ here. Not a trivial task, but a task nonetheless. Best of luck to him in that. Yeah, no, again, they caught them out of position. They should not have been doing random sieges. They should be really keeping their troops together. Delhi really pulls through with some godly generals. I have no clue how the hell they got those generals, but that they do. How old are they? 50. That's That guy's 19. What the hell? 
that guy's going to be there for decades until until he dies in armor camp five minutes later, of course. But Jesus Christ, that's incredibly lucky. Well, best of luck try, for them trying to pull that through. That's going to be a tough one. Economy, yeah, Bengal is definitely realizing this is basically his do or die moment. So there we go. But yeah, Moses is showing why he knows the game. No clue how the hell he managed to get um, those generals still. And he is going generously over four summit for this. Yeah, okay. DJ is going to have to go over four summit if they want to do this. And I think Delhi or Bengal has not gone. Okay, this is why I don't understand. You're really getting outnumbered in the battles. Why are you not building to four summit? You have the manpower, you have the slackens for it twice even. I just don't understand. Just go back up at the end of this, let's be real. But, yeah. Kind of want a white piece, but I think Delhi's gonna definitely ask for more here. And I mean, they're gonna get it. Enough cannons on them. In the battles. Did they white piece VJ? No, they did not. Where is the VJ army then? Going home. <laughs> That's the thing, VJ needs to see the right on the wall. If they don't actually keep Bengal alive here, they're just gonna die too. Delhi. And they've popped their bonuses. Delhi has not, so they need to go in yesterday. I don't even have their 5% distance from their ideas yet. Jesus Christ. Wait out. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, that's... And then Gar starting to burn. And they've started to enter quality ideas, which is kind of a threatening concept. Was well, that out the way? Yeah. I think Delhi's on the first attack. 10. Okay, both Bengal and BJ have tech 10. The issue is, of course, tech 10 is glorifiedly cosmetic. I mean, cavalry, great, no one cares. You do get new cannons and a bit more flanking range in fairness, so it's not actually that bad, but still. It's no tech 6 on tech 5, for example. I'm not sure what the hell their plan is at this point, but it can't be good. <laughs> VJ really needs to march up forward up north and actually fight this. Oh, AP stout. Not gonna lie, Vijay, I think that's your mistake as well, but that definitely leaves Bengal gone for good. Unfortunately, with NP now, that I think that's just gonna give Delhi hegemony over India, and with Delhi getting hegemony over India, that means Vijay is next on the chopping block, realistically. Delhi realizes as well that that threat has to exist, so yeah, no surprise there. Yeah, they peaced out. They're dead. Guess Delhi, well, the issue is Bengal could have taken the white piece, but they really shouldn't have. They had to gamble for that, of course. I still don't know why the hell they're not enforcer, but realistically, at this point, it doesn't matter, they're dead. I can continue dying a slow and painful death, but. take all their sea gland and get 124% Jesus Christ, how can they get that much over it? Oh, I think that's because their capital is a max steady war score, so because they're taking something that fat. Well, there we go. There's a uh, Bengal last stand. Not going to be pretty for them. Not 5% discipline down and a morale point down. And only a zero. Yeah, no. No chance. Mm -mm. 
painful to watch, but I think that brings the end to Delhi here. Probably will have to prepare them for a reset on island or something. But we shall see. Yeah. I don't see him coming back to that attack next session. Whatever the hell's going on there, I don't want to be a part of it. Oh, that is so cursed. Did he go seek? No, okay, I was gonna say. Jesus Christ, he's... We're really pushing through everything here, but yeah. Burgers are waiting for Wenshaw, and then... Yeah. Supremacy over the crown, Jesus Christ, yeah. A bit too influential, Burgers. You want to convert a province when they've guaranteed Dimmy autonomy. Oh, build a Dimmy house. Okay. Well, best luck for them in that. But yeah, I don't see any way for Bengal to pull back from here. I mean, Moses can just afford to go with Horse Limit. At best, Delhi can just. At best, Bengal can just try and make them pay. I don't think they have. They've taken max loans. So not a force limit, but <laughs> yeah. Good luck to them in that. Maybe they get force limit. Oh, I see. They're hiring every single merc under the sun. Well, you need to be careful because once they they reach um, ninety war score, that's game. Rip their professionals, they should have done a slapping before. I'm not sure if they did though. I think they might have. It's a bit of a mind trap for them. Surprised that. Has this been defense edicted? That has not. Probably should have been, but. Yeah, great place for them to fight. On that mountain. Yeah, I think the issue is they're just going to be bankrupt in 20 months. And then Oirat can take a bite. Surprised again, um... Ayutai is not being killed by uh, Nusantra right now, but thankfully it's a good thing because I don't think they can peace out. Also, rather ironically enough, I don't think they can peace out because AI is brain dead. But there we go. Oh Christ, it's brain dead AI, isn't it? Oh Christ, it's brain dead AI. They're gonna break to mum, looks like. I'm, I'll have to fix that in Nation Edit. By the end of that. But there we go, okay, Bengal getting ready for their probably last stand of the mountains. The last of their money. Romantic last stand, as it were. <laughs> and in they go. If they win that siege right before, that's going to be tragic. They get a disease outbreak, perfect. As far as they're concerned. Okay. Minus two, in they go. They even have ten cannons. 12 cannons on there, 13 cannons on there, they have, they're fighting a full back row. But they're fighting the mountains, and that is brutal. But Delhi, also no general for Delhi. But there they go, okay. I know, I know, I'm going to have to say fix Ethiopian. And that I have noticed, but yeah. Yeah, that's the issue, even if you leave it on brain, yeah. Well, that's the issue they're under the sub. Technically better than a, uh, <laughs> you know, the no sub, I guess, but there we go. Right. Not sure how the hell that's looking for them, but best of luck. Who wants to left? Thanks. Hmm. 
Oh, that's a mess, but there we are. Bit of a slaughter there. And hey, they actually did win this. Sorry, they did shift him out because people messaged me. But yeah, not a surprise, more fairness. I don't think that he had much of troops there. And they're a bit shattered now, in fairness, because of this. Of course, Bengal has... Cannot maintain this. No. No. In, in no universe do they maintain this. They've got three more debases they can if they want to do that. But in no universe do they maintain this. They're suiciding that 20k stack in. At this point, fair enough. They're going to have to take debases. Probably want to uh, relieve a bunch of their land before they debase again. But, you know. It is what it is. <sighs> right. Oh, could have been more prettier. That could have been a lot worse as well. Yeah. And that's a slaughter. This stack is dead. There's no coming back for that. They're out of money in 14 months in a year. Hey, they can take a loan. Quick, take the loans. And take a D basis. They have as well, yeah. But, yeah, just to be excited here, this is... Moses has free run over here, especially with the BJP snail. They're actually out of manpower, in all fairness, and kind of hurting economically themselves. So I had to pick up a couple loans. I didn't realise they had that much interest brand in production. I think they got a national bank. Yeah, they did, didn't they? That's always nice to see. Well, he's going for something here. Don't know if that's going to be anything. Oh god, they're assaulting. Okay. They're on no morale. Ouch. Yeah, 100% going to leave that. I think they've realised they're out of money, so... They don't assault. They're, they're a goner. Yeah. Oh, and there goes their own separatists. Yeah, no, it's not great when you're getting separatists of your own country. But there we are. Yeah, no, I mean, they went for the assault there, but just not the best idea. And now they're definitely burning. They're 100% bankrupt after this as well. At least they've gone through their ideas to some extent. Two have an ideas behind, so not the best situation. And I think Delhi has started slowly but surely filling in some quantity one quality ones, they have not. But yeah, wow, 10% kind of cap. <laughs> Quite nice one. And yeah, just clean up what is left of this. Hey, at least that fixes their bankruptcy issues, right? Because they're not gonna pay for that mess. Oh, okay, they managed to take more loans. Somehow, I don't know how the hell they got their income up. Did they get subsidies? Oh, did they get the quality 50% income from? Maybe. But yeah, they are just up here. I think that was their last ditch attempt, and they made them hurt, but not enough in any substantial way. And they can migrate to Burma, but realistically, they're just going to be, continue to be eaten. But hey, third place in India could have been worse. Could have been worse. How is Ethiopia? Uh, very bad, very bad, Okinfono, because the we got you got subbed last second, and oh lord, that's going to be a lot of me down to do nation fixing. 
AI is brain dead, so I'm gonna have to nation fix so this. I'm gonna have to nation fix whatever the hell's going on here. Um, I, I mean, I don't think you're that behind on tech. I'll have to nation fix you some ideas and stuff as well because what a mess. But hey, at least you built up a nice bank of money. I'll, this will definitely break to Mamluks, but I will give you full course on this and return it to you. Um, I will also deal with whatever the hell's going on here. Probably will just give you control of it back, but I won't decrease autonomy. Well, it's just plus 10 autonomy. It's significant, but not too much at the same time. Um, yeah. Pretty ugly, because your sub was uh, kind enough to put on being brain dead, and I don't want to rehost. By the way, while you are here, are you going for... Um... Yeah, fair enough, you did get a war against Mamluks. Um... Are you going to go for forming rum then? Um, uh, sorry, not going for rum. Are you going to go for forming Mamluks then for their ideas? Or is there a strategy I'm missing here for what your former will be? Is Hadramuta subject to someone? It is, yeah, it's not okay. Also, yeah, Delhi is on the slaughter, I'm afraid. Yeah, Ram will be a bit of an issue one, but I guess, you know, as long as TQ lets you through the Ottomans, that'll be your best bet. But there we go. Yeah, Poland will probably have a word about that. Although, currently they're a bit busy killing Denmark for some ungodly reason. Yeah, for Gotland. Okay. That's a bit cursed. I think they're trying to cuck Sweden out of this mess. And there we go. Yeah, we're not looking great for Bengal. Last second luck stack, but... I mean, it's a jungle fort. It's something. Better than nothing, but... It might as well be nothing. They have to bring this up as well. They're getting bankrupt. And... Hey, they're gonna get Morocco from Morocco. Sure. I don't think that's Bengal, but there we go. Actually, I think it was Bengal. Okay, yeah. They're gonna try and hold the jungle here, but... <sighs> Can I imagine that going well for them? Wait, Pim went Morocco? Oh lord. Oh lord, he has. I've only just noticed that. Oh, of course, he's gone Morocco. That's actually kind of smart because he can then pop... Um, he can then pop Established Black Guard for 2.5 Discipline and then Formal Andalus. Of course, he hasn't actually adopted Islam as a state religion. He's Catholic, so he can't actually form an Andalus, but there we go. Catholic Morocco, that's... Cursed. It also means he can colonize this for free. It definitely protected uh, Granada that much. That'd be a nice one to have. But yeah, it means, yeah, it's got Moroccan ideas as well, so you've got out of Portuguese ideas, which are very... Very colonial, though he has still got an exploration expansion, so he's still colonizing just as Morocco. Fair enough. Because Muslimic, he will have um, no six. Yeah. I mean, this makes perfect sense as a step in between for Morocco because you get this mission for 2.5% of the end of the game, which. Why would you not take that? But there we go. What now, Moses? Is it brain dead AI? Enforce peace, I'm assuming. Hello, yes. Didn't see you. How does the. Um... Oh, never mind. He peaced out. Yeah, you cannot. Okay, oh, cool. Peace. Jesus it's Christ. You do a not beautiful like you peace boys, treaty. Yeah. Uh, you guys are fucking horrible. <laughs> oh no, he immediately changed scholars. <laughs> I've changed scholars. Wow. 
immediately change colors. What is this? National non maintenance modifier effect. Would you um? Would you actually? By the way, here would you switch to um, strengthen of the Kalasha here for that morale of armies? Or are you gonna keep no. the manpower? Yeah, right. It has the morale. Fair enough. I have enough morale right now. Oh, yeah, he has the morale right now. Hmm. So five percent morale, but in all fantasy, fifty percent, fifty percent manpower goes further. Also, haven't seen this. Um... I need more income. <laughs> <laughs> Here Aruk is just suffering of success. <laughs> suffering as well. I need more from Corvandal trade note. Oh, yeah, no. I send, I <laughs> send, send the ships. They're going right now. Cancel, right. protect, trade, Coromandel. <laughs> well, it looks like I need to be receiving the last this. There is no value in. But there we go, yeah. Well, the sick man of Europe, how did that go for you then? <laughs> not not entirely to plan. Um, yeah, no. Uh, basically, I think the war with VJ was pretty much the nail in the coffin there at the start. He just took your trade. Um, yeah, no, but... My, me dying him gave Delhi the ability to, you okay. know, go into me. That's what I was arguing. I think you could have uncommed to VJ and beaten up Delhi there. Because you actually had more force of an income than him at the start of the wars. His generals, though. I have no idea how the hell he got those generals. I think they might have some mission beastly. generals. But the thing um, is, as well, like most of them were old, but then he had one guy at 19 as well. Which oh, right, yeah. So I have no idea how he got those generals. Yeah, no, that was, that was, that was quite scary. Um, but yeah, there we go. Yeah, Don't I think I'll just gonna be looking yeah. for a reseed for you unless you want to try and continue with this mess. Wow. <laughs> it's not really many expansion opportunities at this point. Um, you can get your course back. Great. Um, you have a lot of yeah? to get back. Yeah, think of the reconquest. It's like the Timurids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, no. Yeah, um, no. Um, you're losing great power. Yeah, you're bankrupt here. Well, you actually have 17 yeah. grand somehow. I'm not sure how the hell you managed that. Um, yeah, it turns out I can take loans, which is not too bad. No, basically, um, because of revanchism. Uh, so interest. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Um, uh, Truce break Punjab for round two? <laughs> I feel like that probably wouldn't go particularly well, would it? No, no, it won't, would it? Um, well, but... there we go. Nice yeah. death war, but... Can't win every game. No. No. Um, oh well. On your favourite deli as well, but it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Oh well. What What can you do? I can offer you Japan, Delhi or Inca. Uh, Japan, uh, Ireland or Inca. Oh, I need to have all a look around. Country, I, I, like, all three will be country I, fixed by the end of that. So I'm just asking it's more of a, which one do I need to country fix for you? Uh, yeah, I'd like to have a look after the save, that's alright. Um, Fair enough. Yeah. Just to... Because I have no idea what Europe looks like. Um, In fairness, neither I do I. I haven't done a fair war in years. <laughs> oh, right. I guess there's not really players in Europe, are there? Uh, Two-player war. Mm. Well, there's now Morocco from, formed by Portugal, but there we go. Mm -hmm. Catholic Morocco is a sight to behold, but there we go. Well, anyway, best of luck with that. At least they're not giving your land away for free, which is always pleasant to see. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. There we go. Alright. Christ. There we go. Last hour plus 15 odd minutes of the session going as well. And immediately... They went in again. Oh, absolute legends. Was gonna go well for them, but they th I think they thought, well, what the hell, why not? So. Go Bengal, I guess. Yeah, probably will get internal conflict, won't they? Yeah, looks like they're getting internal conflicts. Uh, 
And Polo and QQ at war again, but I think they might be Defender of Faith again. Yeah, that is 100% Defender of Faith. There's no way Poland's going to bother with that. Yeah, not with that kind of debt. Jesus Christ. It's a lot of thoughts that are painful. A lot of them are questionable. Looks like the farming one. But yeah, anyway, fortunately can't turn my eye away from uh, India. Because they're at it again. Then they need to pop that mission. Still have the option to form Barat if they bother eating into. But there we go. And they are sick, so yeah. Can you doubt? Well, there we go. Ah, best of luck to him in that video game. Hmm. Well, so far it's just a staring contest. I think Punjab needs to rebuild their armies after the yeah, back to force them for them. They are also, I think, going to integrate. Oh, they have integrated here, okay. So, hey, they're finally coastal. It only took them a couple of decades. Culture wise, yeah, a bit of a mess, but oh well. Bengal going for their uh, attempt at a blitzkrieg and enough debt to make it out, Jesus Christ. At least they're at full summit now, they know what they're doing. It's it's a death war. Good and proper. Fewer rebel control provinces than one. Well, probably an idea actually to get rid of that rebel because then you can, you know, get your 321 duck. It's the last year month in fairness, probably, yeah. Oh, revanches in income because, yeah, tax income. You can take 118 ducats of interest. Now that. That's a bankruptcy I've seen one, but there we go. You know, he knows he's dead, so you have to commend him for, the, for trying at least to hurt on the way out. And wait, what the hell he actually... Oh, he got slaughtered so hard. Of course, he actually has godly generals now. Ha! <laughs> Four morale versus Punjab's five. Christ, did they pop... Let me pop that. Jesus Christ, that's terrifying. And they pop the inspirational... Strict and they pop an inspirational leader. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. They pop an inspirational leader. Probably not the best time to pop it in the world, but... And that's just a good three years to go through them. Unfortunately for them, that's going to be devastating for Bengal. I mean, just look at this on the receiving end. They're going to be one point of morale behind. And two tactic points behind. Yeah. No. And good rolls on Punjab as well means... They're not going to get time to reinforce that. That's going to be a stack wipe. Getting on a stack wipe, but they do not have time to reinforce that. Not when they're 15% distance behind and one point of morale behind as well. It's objectively not happening. They need their entire army in here as well. Which, in fairness, yeah. Well, that's a rip, but oh well. <laughs> he tried. You have to commend the effort, at least. You have to commend the effort. And yep. Yeah. It's the end of Bengal here. Alright. Unfortunately as well, Punjab is now in a state where they can slaughter Vijayanagar slowly but surely as well. So, yeah. Moses will most likely have free reign over what remains in India. I think I'm not going to be re in Japan, am I? I don't think I'll be re in Japan. 
not what's left of them. Might do a con poor man country fix reset into this. This is on high colonizing towards. Yeah, okay. Well, Mies is doing stuff, so there we go. At least they have the money to maintain this, but... Christ, they don't have the numbers or quality to maintain this. That's the unfortunate reality. Well, Rippium, he did pretty well with quite a few GCs, so... That's a shame, but yeah. The Indian Thunderdome doesn't... Isn't uh, free reign for everyone. Also, session three. I should really rename the name of the stream, shouldn't I? <laughs> I have just noticed. I should also get a, uh, you know, get a new thumbnail for that, but there we go. That's not a good event. Oh, there they go again, but can't see this one going better at 57. Oh yeah, thankfully they gave that away to turn the AI for them to call, because that is way too much overextension. All in. And so spoon jab. Fortunately, yeah. Not with that kind of quality difference. And again, sound like a broken record, but it is true. And they are just gone here. Yep. That's it. Rip. Are they actually fighting this? No, they've dialed VJ. Oh, well, they don't scooch around. I think that's Defender of Faith. Attack a Defender of Faith. Defend a Defender of Faith. But there we go. Well, now it's just going to give more land over to Punjab as well. Kind of set, sealing the deal over the eventual regenic of death, unless they can pull some miracle throughout of this. Another news, Arak sitting on a pretty fancy income, Jesus Christ, actually. So, a lot of money. And a lot of rebels. And a lot of being overcome in capacity. But there we go. Is he great power? Yeah, just close. Just a way around. But, yeah. Could honestly actually build 250 heavies in that kind of income and declare naval hegemon. But there we go. Well, Tageta sub isn't negotiating because Tageta sub is brain dead and getting absolutely slaughtered by rebels. Oh Christ, they're gonna break, aren't they? That's gonna have to be some fun nation fixing for me or later, isn't it? It spoilers, it was not. Hmm. 
Well, at least it's the last tower, Jesus Christ. We'll have to negotiate that as best as I can, but there we go. Yeah, they can... Actually, wait, they could probably win this. I think they will win this. They can both roll zero. No, an eight for them. I mean, God, I think they might have this. Two nice rolls, and I think they have this. Yeah, Punjab's quality isn't that great. Yeah, they they know that they can't get a free free on that one. Oh, and they're gonna run that 40k down as well. I think they just locked in the day before, so yeah. Christ, the morale difference. They also were relatively low on morale compared to before, so. Ouch, but of course, you most literally almost 10 to 1. Hey, another the wolf troops, god. Are they running basically every merc stack? No, they're not running the Impenant Army, but they probably want their money to last a bit longer than that. Because 400 ducats a month is an impressive amount of money to lose. Could probably take max corruption here as well for another 3k. Last them a, a bit longer. At least all of 10 minutes, anyway. White piece, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I think Bengal wants to hurt him more than anything here. White piece means nothing, he's dead anyway. Slow down the juggernaut. Yeah, again, I think Punjab just doesn't want to be hurt by this. It hasn't got all of this cord. So he's running a huge amount of overex well, 50% overextension if he had this as well, that would be like almost 100. So that's what's really, really being painful for him. I mean, the poor AI is screwed on overextension anyway. Yeah, it is. So. Christ, of course, when it comes to actually fighting, then Gar has no chance. Absolutely no chance. <laughs> Let's be completely true here. And I mean, if if it gets bad, Punjab can pop another fifteen percent morale of armies, and another five percent morale of armies. But they definitely need to manpower more right now. Oh Christ, that's why. Hey, Corden, all you're at. <laughs> they might actually win that. Now, I think they might win that. I think Madora coming to the uh, to the mix. Oirat, I mean, quality, what is there to suggest it, but it's a horde. So, you know. <laughs> Christ, they're putting everything in that battle. Everything. I'm numbered in 3 to 1, but yeah, well overstacked. And they retrieve. Now, that's the last time if I ever saw it, but yep. Okay, but Punjab scored an Arak. Yeah, okay. It's to be expected at this point, although I'm not sure what the hell they're going to do, if anything. A few master force them, but then how do you have an army? Assuming they're going to build one for this? They are, kind of. Then they're mostly building heavies. So their priorities are pretty clear on that one. Yeah, internal conflicts, yeah, but you know, who cares? Go Oirat. With a disloyal Mongolia again. God damn it. <laughs> You're never going to integrate that thing, are you? Well, that's a twist. Might actually keep him alive from that, but we'll see. 
But either way, that's kind of a miracle. It was a minus one and a shock this is a jungle, but could have been close. Unfortunately, Punjab probably is looking at this and going, well... Oh, yeah. They pop the discipline. They pop the morale. Christ. Pop more here, but... Christ. They want then marriage to Protic. Interesting. Advisor class. Stide Mr. Clergy. On a free policy. Or not even this, because Rajput Regiments. But yeah, in they go again, I think, with this. Is that a fullback row? Just under. And under a godly general, in they go into the jungle here. They probably will definitely have a massive advantage. And Jesus Christ, reinforcement stacks up the wazoo. Two milk stacks, I think they've slackened everything they have. Let's take it from that perspective. Yeah. Those two nomad cavalry, nomad infantry are actually hurting. Bengal's shock phase by 25%, which is kind of ironic, but there we go. Either way, it's a slaughter. Whatever way you want to look at that. Can I say literal speechless? But there we go. Bengal has had to put like around a hundred to hundred to two hundred k into that to just even stand in the battle. But Punjab continuously sitting around one point five morale. They have parked everything in, but still, fortunately, are two zeros. It's not pretty. But there they go. They relieve the siege. Well, oh, Bengal still has a bit of a war chest going. No, fortunately for them, they're retreating in a pretty bad direction. Okay, they get out of there. Lucky them. I mean, normally people do run two cultures, not autonomy change. Autonomy is great, but you just kind of revoke autonomy by four, by you know, military strength, more than anything. Oh yeah, five accepted cultures for the last stages are one we can take. What actually is it? 2k, being absolute, being emperor of China, multicultural nation, win league war, and 3k companies. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely take that, but... That's just me. You probably should have taken that first. To be honest with you. It's a bit of a waste of gun before. But there we go, right. Best luck in that. Well, yeah, probably wait for the Empire thing, but I definitely would normally... I would not take the Mighty Autonomy change. i definitely take the Cultures. The only time you take the Mighty Autonomy is when you're playing incredibly tall, but then when you're playing incredibly tall, you don't really need the Mighty Autonomy anyway. <laughs> so. There we go. Oh, God, he's got Animus Sabbaths running around. That's terrifying. Yeah, fair enough. Um, it's not the best. It's it's a hard situation to come out of, but what else can I say? He's starting to catch up, just three techs to go, and he's got expansion on economic. Interesting choice here. But realistically, he's not going to be deving, so this kind of makes sense for him. Ironically enough, because he's got expansion, there is ironically enough as well an argument to exile companies if you want to do some expert minorities, but if you're not, I won't bother. 
but yeah. I think once he murders Yao, he'll basically have this entire console deck. He needs to be careful because Morocco can pop a mission to colonize this sooner rather than later and then make him go uh, enter this more aggressively. So he hopefully maintains a reason for this alliance and provides value for an alliance, but there we go. God, well, that's a Native American mess. And England remains a mess. England is finally killing Scotland. Northumberland finally is existent. Christ. So you can set a 5% crown land. I mean, you say that, but there's no real reason to set a 5% crown land these days. Um, unless you've really been aggressive about it. You're normally dev, so you normally have a lot of crown land anyway. Sitting at crown land is... I mean... I don't know. I still think the cultures are better because it allows you to utilize more land effectively. And I think utilizing land effectively is in the name of the game of you for MP anyway as well. Obviously manpower, but you get it from utilizing land effectively. Okay, that war chest is coming to a 20 months close, so he needs he has to, his, uh, 20 months to leave his final mark on the plateau. And there we go. Yeah, that's true if you can't dev, but at the same time... I would still really recommend taking the the plus six of the cultures, especially in culturally diverse areas as it's on high. Although I'm not actually sure if they are all. Yeah, there's three culture groups here, so you won't be able to just empire this. It's not like Germany, where if you get an empire, you're just like yes, I accept European. Italian is also massive. Hungarian's a bit more thing, and Polish is a bit sad. In fairness, they've been culture converted more than anything. It's kind of ironic, isn't it? Is Behemoth trying to, go, trying to flip? It might be trying to flip. I mean, Russian is also a pretty decent group. As much as it pains me seeing Ruthenia in that group. I mean, Persian is a Persian glorious group. <laughs> Basically, anything. I mean, the real one is China as well. Jesus Christ. But yeah, anyway, I'm missing the last stand. Oops. Not that they can do much with it. No, they're outnumbered three to one, and they're only barely seeing the battle. Once the reinforcements come in, yeah, no chance. No chance. They're fighting it well. I'll give them that, but not against the Sikh Punjab. Well, I mean, they're Sikh themselves, but actually, may have spoken too soon. I may have spoken too soon here. Yeah, they do take the retreat, fair enough. Nicely done, I spoke too soon, I'll take that back. <laughs> Very honestly. Alright. Is Orat actually fully committing to this by any chance? Christ almighty they are, they have no manpower, they are even losing money. Yeah, they're fully committed to this. We're granted with... <laughs> Not the largest army in the world, but it's something. I'm gonna destroy the subject a bit. Maybe not for a white piece. Let's see if they accept it. Okay, yeah, they're gonna go bully him. Um, or right into a white piece here. It's understandable. They're assaulting as well. I guess they know they're on a timer, so... Let me guess, all going to... <laughs> Fair enough, unfortunately for them. Yeah, they're very much on time. As before. I think that was not... I think it's 20 months now, actually. My bad. Which is a decent time, but... Yeah, I don't think they can afford to send for train medics, so there's definitely a praying for his life. Which 
It's a shame he's a good dad, but it doesn't matter at this point. It is a shame. I think you lived. I think you lived. We can check by uh, clicking on print chat and clicking back on things to see if they have events. Oh, okay, never mind. It actually worked, but there we go. Ah, uh, Punjab having to reorder their army. They're actually completely out of manpower, ironically enough, so. This is hurting them. And one war score as well. Very well done, Wales, can I say? <laughs> but yeah. They've taken a frontline positioning, at least something anyway. Something resembling it anyway. Really need to recover their manpower to some extent. Assume they need to roll some generals and then work on that. God, they're burning money. Make no tomorrow. Yeah, at least a 10k debt, so Punjab has had a free time with this. They will need to recover. Give him maybe Vijayanik are a chance if they can get some actual alliances going. But we shall see. I'm glad to see Delhi on the offensive taking their course back. And some of their subjects, of course. Can't actually take an insane amount of land here, so. Back. And it is reconquest. Yeah, these two stabilities are only a minus three, that means nothing. And a couple of rebels, well, he's not like he's making money out of that land anyway. But there they go. There's the battle. They're going to consolidate? They have. Yeah. Nice, they get that cross to minus one. I sure like to bring those lamps to the slaughter, but yeah, no. I just, I don't see any way for them to uh, actually beat Punjab here, not with their insane quality buffs. I, the discipline is going to last one more year, unfortunately, for them, and their economy isn't. <laughs> it's the long and short of it. Glorious generals all around, they're hemorrhaging no points, of course, but at this point, the country's dead. <laughs> more of a make most of pay <laughs> but there we go well it is what it is <laughs> yeah last reinforcement dick or else is putting out that's it Looking at the size of the economy, I think they die here. I mean, they may definitely hurt Punch up with this. And they have had to slacken again, I think. Yeah, it probably looks like it. They'll probably have to slacken again and again. Debt for them is starting to build up. May have to, by the end of this, take well over 10k worth. And once that expires. In a while, in fairness, that would be a bit more a payment. At least a third of your income in, in... Forcing someone to take a third of their income in interest is kind of substantial. But there we go. Alright, well there goes the stabby stabby. <laughs> and the absolute stalter. Surprised they actually managed to get a retreat off, but there we go. Only at my setting war score though, so still more to push. 
unfortunately still more to push and I hate this bug where you kind of leave the map with that stuff I'm surprised Orant isn't dipping from this but there we go kind of funny actually oh. I guess the Nico Belligerents they can't actually take like these two provinces but there we go more percentage there oh they are primary culture Siamese Wait, they can just straight up perform. So I am just, of course. That's amazing. So where they kind of semi nerfed over time by making them unable to form the form this thing. All fifty mil points, woo, that's another general. But yeah, it's still full around <laughs> realistically, yes. Not much more to watch here. Let me do double check. Where at that's that player where I know, that's that player where I know. But that is an actual player war between QQ and Transox started at the last second. Probably because they kept they don't want to keep Chinese horrible borders up there. But most likely to secure the rest of Persia. Oh yeah, home node here. Yeah, that's the issue, Poland. Because you can really suck their trade out, but there we go. Poland's a PU is a lot more annoying than Poland as a subject, I'll give you that. And that mm -hmm. is cursed, what the hell. Oh Christ, he's here. Well, Bengal has formally migrated into uh, Burma, so there we go. That concludes that. And ooh, Hormuz is in this, going against Transox themselves as well. Not sure what the hell Hormuz has been promised out of this, I don't think they have any actual interest up there. In fact, if anything, they have more, um, probably have more interest in killing QQ, if anything, but there we go. Christ, Duke is prepared for this. Well, let's see how good the glitch is at taking a 2v1. Oh, yeah, my bad. Sorry, they are actually. That makes a lot more sense. They do call him. Okay. Yeah, I see that. That definitely preserves the status quo. And this is great opportunities for Transox. They can either go to Persia or secure Astrakhan, etc. Meanwhile, Hormuz can go secure Bastra for themselves. This makes perfect sense. You know, definitely the advantages lie with here. QQ will have the numbers. If definitely had the numbers, Jesus Christ. And Jesus, QQ has been playing this game incredibly well. 70% ahead of time on admin. No institution taking so much in quality. I think they might still win this regardless. I mean, Horamers. It's a bit lack on the quality, but they have the important things. Transox, uh, yeah, I don't think cavalry combat ability is going to be the thing you need, but at least you've got some equality. Meanwhile, QQ are very close to finishing their ideas as well from the leader fight, but, and, you know, 10% discipline when they finish that. So that'll be huge for them. Well, this is more of a, uh, of a war where uh, neither of the two sides are completely... Uh, Broken Hormuz, of course, still has a respect to 122 force limit, which they probably want to build up to. Transox can't say the same. But it's definitely not irrelevant, especially, well, hopefully they actually do build up the force limit, because I think they want more than 51,000 to fight this.
Tiki has hidden their troops pretty well here. Yeah. But it is also still a mountain. There's quite a few annoying mountains for them to walk through. This one, maybe not. Okay, how are we looking at morale-wise? Ooh, 3.4 for Horamuz. That is not pretty. That is not pretty at all. But a 5% of spin advantage is something, and at the end of the day, I also fight on the mountains, so, yeah. Leader general picks are just marginally better for Horamuz. Let's see how well Kiki can reinforce into here. Don't know if this has been scorched. I doubt it. But, yeah, okay. That bottom one is locked in. There they are as well. Now time to see if Horamus gets a reinforcement off in time. They do. Horamus for the reinforcement take again. I think they're going to lose that before the reinforcement tick. They got it just in time. I think one or two months that would have been it. But Horamus is dipping from that battle. They can see the right on the wall. And that's Transworks going to be feeding 9k into a slaughter. Unfortunate. Oh well. Yep, yeah, now just more siege progress. There we go. I'm assuming Bengal is bankrupt. Oh, a growing financial sector, yay. Um, also in first sort. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. Little man pal. But there we go. Yeah, they're definitely going bankrupt at the end of this. Jesus Christ. They're probably only fighting with mercs. Where are their armies? Oh, killing all rats. Rebel swarm. <laughs> I'll have to pay that back somehow. But we're not going to be converting anything to Seeker this rate. But yeah, let's check back in on the actual main war. <laughs> That is a very clear QQ advance. And Hormuz taking the... Leaving the war here. Very, very consistent, it seems, throughout this campaign. People go, okay, I'll help you. We'll lose a couple of battles and realize, well, this is pointless, I'm out. But I think that kind of will spell the end for Transox here. Hormuz was the main bringer of any chance of a war here. And I think well, that concludes this for QQ. Uh, for AQ. I mean, they haven't even finished the economic and... QQ is two ideas away from, well, 10% archery combat ability, another leader fire pip, and 10% discipline, so there we go. Are they running the tech one cavalry? <laughs> no, they're not, okay. <coughs> Ouch. But there we go. Yeah, Hormuz would have been the saving grace here. They could have kept Transox alive, but they just dipped, and that's kind of understandable. I don't think the EJ subsidies persuaded them enough about that. But yeah. TQ on by Kosovas. Very, very well played as a country. Beautifully getting every monarch points you need ahead of time on text, and then some. Not sure how much he's been doing, but oh yeah, he's taken Syria, he's taken everything under the sun. I won't need to nation fix him into Egypt, but there we go. Yeah, that's not going to be fun to resolve, is it? Because Mutapa is not even a subject to this rate, are they? Oh, there they are, they are. They have troops starving to death. Yeah, we're gonna have to resolve a lot of that. They'll no, definitely have the tech saving of the burning monarch points. But anyway, this is not there's not much more to watch here with Kuke again with Hormuz out. It's a very done and set war, unfortunately. I mean, yeah, you can pop that mission. Get five percent morale. <laughs> a bit five percent more morale there, but uh Uncon? Okay, I was gonna say. That's okay, they have lost any. Makes sense. That believes that gives them. Restoring Al Andalus. They're going to need to dev this. That's kind of funny, isn't it? But yeah, I mean. 
50 on here, it's not too bad. There's a couple of mountains, and God probably want to dare to get rid of the devastation, but there we are. I would argue it's worth it, in all fairness. Um, it's not that expensive. You have this one, and once you get a marketplace level central tree there, you do get this bronze call nice for free, which is kind of nice. Gives you access to at least either have a better friend in Sonhai, have more access there. And more importantly, you basically have completed that mission. Oh, Moroccan privateers on here. Yeah, that'd be a bit annoying. But Blackguard for 2.5 sedispent. Oh, I see that requires kind of conquering your friend. Depends how much you want to keep him around. But 2.5% discipline is 2.5% discipline at the end of the day. If you can't be bothered though, at the end of the day though, uh, Al Andalus is a good tank, regardless of their black god or not. But there we are. What happened to Ethiopia? Well, the AI is brain dead, so we can have a nice, fun time nation fixing that mess. Oh, okay. Transorgs did get a, uh, probably separately uh, beat up this stack, which means they can kind of go in here, but not when they're spread out. Yeah, that's going to be a slaughter. I think it might be a wipe here, actually. It was not a wipe. But there we are. Yeah, if they hit us before no tree. And great. Um... Fair rehost time. They take the Taj Mahal. Okay. Oh, I don't like Moses being out of sync, so. Yeah, that is weird. What the hell happened there? <laughs> no offense, Moses, but apart from you being out of sync, what the Brain hell? Brain dead me, do? I will hot track. Okay, I'm going to come seek. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. The body's way too good. Wait, how did you pause? He did the arrow disconnected. Yeah, I'll be hot shot. Okay. okay. So, how okay, no, no questions. Can you look at India? Again because you're out of sync. What do I have to do? you look at India? Moses is out of sync. Can you leave and hot join? Yeah, so... So guys, why is Harmo's on that streak in the... <laughs> yeah, that's job? why I'm here actually, do you want to explain? Because did you take the Taj Mahal to try and relocate the money? Don't explain. Wait. Don't explain. Don't explain. They're gonna you, see. You it. shall see. Don't, see don't, don't, you shall you. see. You shall on, see. It's it's like it's like it makes no, no sense. It does make it sense does. if you see. It does when you see what he wants to do. He's forming the Mughal Empire. Yes. Exactly. Oh. And then he's trying to give the prophets back. No. Just stop. Don't do that. He actually can't as well. What the hell? Why? Why not? Hormuz is fucking trash tag. I mean, you're not wrong. But that's glorious. I'm gonna wait for most hot join as well, Anak, if you don't mind. There we go. I'm, I'm in. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Actually, it can give you back most of the land, except those two provinces, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Do that. Danny, you need to Okay, call. Lemon. I'm lemon. already calling it. I uh, I because uh, uh, you can't state core if you don't have a core. I found that out the hard way. If you, yeah, if you Moses. Can't, so, yeah. Hmm? You want to, so Moses, they call a war on Bengal, and they go against Moses as a joke, then peace out, and then he wins against Bengal. The is Bengal it, goes against uh, Moses as, um, because he was a defender, and no red joins. I know. So I Moses had a very stressful hour. Yeah, God, I God, think God. that's the point. I think they want to punish Moses for, you know, killing their country as their last stand. Yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah, well, I have to save him. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, join. I left as well. 
and see That's a big oop. Uh, right. Anthony disconnected. That's all red. Well, let's wait, hope he wait. don't add any donation fix that. Oh no, the, the rebels. Oh, I'm great okay. power. <laughs> because I took all that shit. <laughs> that was so bad, dude. How long is this gonna take? So three years. Three Are we years? gonna make it? Yeah. three years? Yeah. Damn. But do I need a land connection to my cores? Uh, they're already no, coring. No, no, no. If they're already coring, yeah, though. Yeah, I'm already coring them. I didn't need to core anything else. Did you do this by fake wolf so Punjab get the cores? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So give me my mo give my my provinces back. Oh, they have to wait until he cores it. No, he's, nope. he's coring. They keep coring. Yeah, he they keeps keep coring. coring but you, you, it's good that you grab two provinces to keep coring, because if you only grab the one, you... Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it, gives it, but it gives it to more time and stuff. So you're going to have to manually yeah, recall those You still have claims. You still have claims. You still have claims. Yeah, it's fine. And Baluchi. Oh no, not Baluchi list then. And Sint, he gave it back to Sint. Oh, that one's to Gujarat. So you're gonna have to kill him. <laughs> not Gujarat. Well, uh, he was on the chopping block anyway, so... Yeah, at least you have your CB now, so it doesn't matter too much. <laughs> it was right? all part of the plan. Exactly. Yes. I didn't even realize Pim left. Great. Well... Pim left. Fantastic. I mean, this session there was a lot of action. Yeah. Oh, my, my original plan was to form the Timmy so I could get all the cores in uh, Persia and then form Mughals. But I couldn't get a ruler and I got the Luxtel event, so. It's kind of. Really? feels bad. Now. Or at May, how yeah. just died. Yeah. Oh. We noticed. Like, I won't Shock kind of but... situation. Oh, nation fix. Oh. The next nation fix His is internet through. just died. Maybe yeah, that's a nation fix as well, because he's uh, he lost all the man who climbed yeah. as well. Oh, trust me, I know I saw that. That's devastating. Wait, he lost? Oh, he probably like overcompensate him more than anything, in fairness, because he's also under, been under. Hey, I I have more. Man, I have more development than you do now. I have some development now. He has some development. Got Don't that. score me out. Yeah, I'm a great I, I, I integrated my vassals, so... Well, thanks to losing those provinces, I will trim down the leader. Yeah, you can actually get one more ally, I think. Oh. Yeah. Nice. I mean, you move your capital to Delhi. Are you just going to keep your capital in Delhi, or are you going to move it out? <laughs> I, mean, I think Punjab so. wants it back, to be honest. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get it back one way or the other. One way, you're the um, other. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna yeah, start improving the relationships with the borders. So, it's one of the oh, few ways in the game to change This is better because you get Indian tech group. It's one of the few ways in the game to change your tech group, fun fact. The other ways involve forming the Indian Empire. Let's go. It's war time. What the Yay. hell? But this, this island, Meath, is definitely the country I'm gonna have to give, like, buddy. Let me attack. Uh... As me. Ah, oh, nice. Gone in against he just blocked yeah. you to death if you don't surrender. Ooh, that's a Let's go, 1v1. One one. Oh, I think they're fighting over that naval promise, aren't they? Have fun with that one. But, yeah. <sighs> well, 20 minutes to go to the end of session. Are they gonna go over land or not? Let's find out in this episode. No, okay, they're just gonna land on the island. Oh, I'm trying to prevent the crossing. Ouch. Uh, they need to get the hell over there right now to prevent that crossing. Like, hire a merc stack to engage them in a battle, prevent the crossing kind of crossing. But I don't think they can get there in time. There's no forts here. That's why I do quite like building Fort on Canby. It's a jungle and it basically gives you control of that entire island. To some extent, it won't help here much anyway. I think that does give them 
a decent chunk of wolf squad. I'm assuming that is the Maldives as the war goal. Okay. It's unlucky. Oh, there they go. And they got their landing secure. Let's see if they actually do end up going to seek. I'm not sure why VJ did not go seek. I guess. Well, I don't know why, so there we go. Hope they're not brain dead. Oh, uh, it will be. Oh, Christ. Yeah, I am paused because uh, I was oh, just told we, that. We, we um, check I crashed. Yeah, I crashed. yeah. yeah and I see. Everyone's yeah, crashing. What is yeah, this? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I am actually. I am paused because I was just told that um, uh, Themajik is going to call it and he's going to not. Uh, Brunei? Not Brunei. Ben Gal. I think so. Yeah, he's going to do so anything I crazy. I think he tells him he's going to be sad. <laughs> he was like, oh, I'm going to do something that a wreck doesn't expect and boom, I crash. Yeah. You were worried about a DDoS, but I think a rat just DDoS me. Oh Christ, no, half the server's gone. <laughs> Wait, what oh, happened? Well? Yeah, half the server's gone. Oh yikes. Uh, rehost? Oh, no, I'm not gone. gone. At least. <laughs> I don't think so. Just keep it running, fuck it. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. I've the people. <laughs> but I just want three years. Okay, what I are we gonna do, Lemon? <laughs> Lemon, what's the plan? I can't go to free host for 20 minutes. Half the server's yeah, gone. Hot 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 okay, I'm One, putting two, the password. Three. Oh, actually, four, three, four, five, five. six, seven, eight tags, apparently. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, it's That's connecting. Control, but there we go. I hope Price, I put the I right think ID. It's only VJ anyway. Thanks to you back, because Oirat is gone to trash. That sounds like a him problem. Oh, Sunlight's yeah. gone as well. Um, and they're killing Lunda, so best of luck for them in that. I don't know how the hell are they killing. How the hell are they killing Lunda? I have no clue how they're doing that. I'm not seeing a hundred requests as well, which is concerning. It still says connecting, so I don't know. Oh, here we go. Oh, loading save. Christ, on a bicycle. But yeah. Mass crash. Fair enough. Yeah, I should rehost, but it's the last 20 minutes, so I'm not going to bother. <laughs> this is just... We, we were uh, bullying Nakamura too much. Although Nakamura, this would be a hundred times worse. All the countries would be on fire. That was way too fun because it was just when it was gonna do something and that Raga had just declared the war, so it just crashed. That was yeah, I think that was way too I much. I planned all it. <laughs> yeah, it was all planned, man. Just so like... us on the, uh, during the play. <laughs> Q, Q, Q. Can you just kill Harmuz so we can go on like four speed? Bro, leave Hormuz alone. Bro, he lags constantly. He's Please. under the protection of the Hormu of the Punjab Empire. Well, just to shoot him. That, but like the person Please. like behind is usually actually Josh Josh on three speed sometimes. So if you want speed, if you want speed, I'm gonna get a new PC him. this week. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Um, Josh Malaya, can you, just, get a... can you just snake Vigi in this war? Oh, I crashed Kill because him. he got an event from poor government policies. Of course. Ah, of yes. Course. Yes, the government policies. Wait, where's my army? Hey, one one good thing <laughs> about this is uh, uh, you actually get money from the people you kill. <laughs> and you don't have to anything. <laughs> it's free money for you. Uh, where's my army? Oh, here it is. They moved my army away. Fantastic. I'm happy to see that. Uh, I really want to see what are you going to do. I see that your level is 
I mean, I don't really want to build more troops, but I do if I have to. Aww. promised me neighbor hack on in next 20 No, I can't do it. It doesn't let me. This game, it let me just a second ago. Of course you can't cross it. No, you can't cross that. No, no, I wasn't talking about crossing it. Let's go, Punjab. Oh shit, uh, I don't care about wrong one. Uh, Fiji, I was not planning on attacking you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ah, really? Talk? <laughs> I <laughs> misclicked! <laughs> what? Well, that's kind of an oracle. Well, they probably all at peace this, aren't they? Or are they actually gonna fight? Oh, I think they're killing. It might have been action mystic, but in all fairness, it's probably a good time to kill them as well, consolidate India. And yeah. Okay, yeah, that was a misclick. At least that gives them a nice truce. Goody heavies? Yeah, there's no one there. Well, I say that, but. Four heavies? Yeah, no chance. See, the less I, the more I let him in, the less I need to pop fix later. Although, literally, last 15 minutes. Alright, yeah. This, I'm doing this just so I don't have to do a nation fix him after this. I didn't check if the AI did something, but I'm gonna assume it was brain dead. No, I think they deleted one of my armies. <laughs> Which I'm not sure why you're not going to seek, by the way, Josh. Josh. I'm not going what? Why are you not going to seek? Uh, I was gonna, but it's never the right moment. Mm. It's the right moment now. <laughs> yeah. I agree. <laughs> I'll do it as well. <laughs> by the way, can somebody spare a lot of money? I only make like 170 targets. Ah, Moses yes. just did something very based. Oh no. He declared war on me by accident. <laughs> yeah, I did. I, did. I was there when I You can 100% beat him. Your armies were stronger than him last time we checked, at least. He pissed out already. Oh shit. Yeah. I was like, oh. Yeah, you have your strength on well, me, I only had like 150. So. I don't know, that was way too fun. But I well, think... I uh, to take a request to take that long, but here we are. Holy uh, fuck. It's gonna take like three minutes to hold you and then ten minutes for next. Right, who's yeah. gonna call? Are we gonna get the last ten minutes of the session, or are we gonna crash? I hope we're last ten minutes. Let's do this. I need those two years, please. I was like, please, this is the only thing I have. <laughs> yeah, if Rebels rise up, I'm gonna get fucked. That's for sure. Yeah, I will try to attack your navy, Oh yeah, that's a I great point. Punchup, you're breaking the, law, the rules, you know. You split up his own. You have to give him mill access. Wait, what? How? That's your rules. Where is your capital now, actually? Yeah, What's that. your problem? Uh, oh, it's, oh, it's actually on with the problem. Might might be a better capital, actually. Um, I mean, the problem is it also changed my uh, trade notes. It did? Yeah. Yeah, you have most of level war, so you should be able uh, to collect in both nodes. And now you lose less from collecting on level war, right? So it might be better, I'm not sure. No, it's not. You have to test that. Somebody best to transfer them, collect them, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, not if it all flows out on you. Oh, okay, yeah. Again, uh, situation over there again. I'm gonna stop this off to these two hormones. I need every single ducket right now. Why? He's not gonna cross, and you're not gonna cross. I know. I, I know. will. He will. He has to. I see enough troops to try to cross. I mean, so you I can just sit on the island. Running, but... 
Yeah. He can get in. I will cross. Who is not in because I can't press start for any more person. He has a right, choose so the country. Right. Yeah. He is. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, now. Right. Good luck. Oh, right now the right person. Just no, no, just truth breaks VJ anyway. <laughs> but he can, but it's not allowed. <laughs> okay, now I'm attacking the right person. I don't think there is a right person to attack. There is always the right person. I think to attack. It... <laughs> I hate all these different tags that I have that are rising up. It's such a pain in the ass. Wait, so why am I going to go on? They can't rise up if you didn't conquer it. Because <laughs> um, they're Muslim, probably. Transoxiana. Pog? Wait, what would happen? Did they win? Where are they? Where's your last rebels? Go, Bukar. Go. Cool. Bit of a oh, full on death war, but good luck. <laughs> I was just slowly looking at it, like, I'm, I'm gonna let it I land and attack. Wait. Oh, there we go. Six wins, though. But I really didn't want to fight. <sighs> yeah. No, if I still grind a boat, we definitely have to nation fix everything. Probably the one time you'd actually want to get 100% more after for 10% discipline, but there we go. Christ, he actually is preparing for a landing. Let's take it from the magic bar hit perspective. He's got everything, I see. Generals, I've seen better, but there we go. We can at least get the war. war. I mean, I think the real thing he wants out of all this is coal. I mean, if he can get his hand on this as well, the islands can actually protect and probably take war out with the ultimate win. But there we go. Well, best of luck to him in that. He has gone quality here, so fair enough. Not sure VJ's progress on that. Ooh, a bit further behind. But there we go. He is running war taxes still. That's a bit of a mistake. But it will. No more free war taxes after all. But there we go. God, he does as well, and there needs to be an estate. Again, yeah, this I think has messed with their trading card. In all fairness, though, at least it gives Punjab a bunch of revenge. Soon. Yeah, so, you know, <laughs> you take it. And rest in peace, Gujarat right here as well, most likely. Yeah. The play market is a bit nicer in India now, with Delhi just removed, but yeah. That remains that. How, apart from the Eastern Cross, how's the Transox death war going? Ooh, Transox going to the offensive. Which is fair given how much the death is going. QQ will definitely be paying this price.
<laughs> right. Meanwhile, are they going to cross? That's what I have been waiting for. It seems the answer is a reassigning no. But hey. Now, I think QQ will need to death for themselves back to have a chance here. They have finished quality, so yes. 10% discipline advantage. 0 0.10. Yeah. It's rather substantial, and again, they're now the ones defending the mountains, so yeah, not looking great. Not looking great. Yeah, again, you'd say that, but um, this this is meant to be a player, and these two have died. Um, so or actually, it's still a player, just not really. Yeah, QQ has just no chance. I mean, Transox just doesn't have full quality. I'm afraid. I think they can just wait, and they definitely can take these defensive battles rather generously here, but... Especially, well, it depends how much they overstack, because the answer is that is an insane amount of overstacking you're doing right now. But I think they'll be fine. I mean, Transox is on a timer here. I mean, the timer's kind of generous, but not that generous. Yeah, once this stack gets in there, that's, that's it. Get that last cannon in there. Yeah, actually, it would help them have an extra cannon now, ironically enough. But there we go. Yeah, no, QQ should definitely have this, no questions asked. Awesome. But there we go, last year, everyone. Hello, I just last send you my year. money because I'm not getting any time. Hello, last year. You ass. Hello, last year. Right there we go. Should be that. God, what a mess. <laughs> and a bit of rebels. But I think it's nothing I need to actually fix, quote unquote. Where are their armies? Existent. Let me guess. They harmonize. Oh, the idiots. I'm not sure if I can fix that. Either way. Can form Sam. <laughs> right, are they crossing? No. Meanwhile, Transox, I mean, they went to the death here, but yeah, and no, QQ is going to be on the offensive here. They're going to get this fort back, basically, before QQ can recover. Again, it's a bit of a dumb bet, I'm afraid. QQ definitely has the advantage here without questions. But there we go. Also, I've just realized Hormuz. When is that call going to be done? January. F oh. Going to be done on the day they can form Mughals. Probably should pop that mission. These are economies looking pretty good. They're, they're getting a decent chunk of money from trade. Oh, sucking out of Gujarat. And sucking out of Coromandels. Well, this looks like a staring contest, I'm afraid. But beyond that, I think Transox is going to be lost here. And I don't think people are going to start another player war in the last minute. So there we go. Well, there it is. There's that. <sighs> I 
I'm going for a potion on Siege Down, that does help with um, War Exhaustion for QQ order at this point. Yeah, it's pretty high. Yeah. Is it Occupy Home Ports? Oh, attrition. Yeah, okay. Still nice to not you in the process of the Occupied, and they're doing that, of course, they're not stupid. So there we go. Last minute, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Last four months. And that concludes that. QQ Beam, Genesis Reinforcement, and there we go. Well, Europe looks cursed. I mean, do they subjugate Austria? No, to royalty, of course. Alive. Are these Sweden's looking nice and, and a lot richer as well, so nice. And good for that. in your capital, yep. Yeah, an empire at least. Oh, actually, you do enact all the government reforms, so you keep... Okay. Normally, actually, when you play Timmy, you don't want to take any government reforms, so you want to save your progress so that you enact the first two for free, then you get to choose the third and fourth one afterwards. But there we go. Alright. No crossings? No crossings. Transox dead. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's an argument for that, but I feel like sticking a cologne this late is going to be. I think the players have already split this area up, and I don't want to have another central German as before. I think I'd rather have an island at this rate, given how open England is. And I know that this happened as a mess. I think this, because he specifically be like this, what's going to happen is I can't exactly, um, you know, seed at Japan now, but oh well. This probably gives me a nice three seed into an island. But there we go. Definitely can't be a winner now. Uh, yep. Yeah. Ready on the pause? He's finished his course. He's checking them twice. Go on, form the Meagles. And there we go. Just to double check. So with me, Gladys. Okay. There we go. And as that, that concludes the uh, the stream as well. I will see everyone next week, hopefully. Actually, I won't see you next week. I'm off next week. <laughs> I'm going back to university. But that's all.